That's fucking crazy. That's fucking nuts. We're so ahead of the game. We are, actually. Jesus Christ, we're so fucking good. <clears throat> anyway, welcome. <laughs> welcome back, guys, to the Gavin A Podcast. This is the, the show. The only podcast where we talk about old movies, act like they're new, get content out of it, and bathe in riches. Yeah, all the riches we got, yeah. So, Gavin. Well, hang on, I gotta tell my joke. What do you call a gay boxer? Fruit punch. That was really funny, Gavin. Thank you, dude. I took <laughs> I took a lot of pride in that joke. That man. was that was I definitely that was really funny. I, I definitely didn't steal that off a yo that was of a yo hilarious. mama off a yo mama that video. Was, that was a very comical moment. Thank you. <laughs> so, Gavin, that was probably the funniest part of the podcast that we barely started. Damn, what are, what are we what are we talking about today? We're talking about the Amazing Spider Man. That's right. He's not regular Spider Man. He's, He's amazing. amazing. He's just amazing this time. He's a pretty amazing guy. Uh, He's got amazing hair. He just looks amazing. You see the hair? We'll get we'll get there. Yeah, <laughs> we'll get there. But before we got some talking things that I would that have, you just wrote down. Yeah, ten seconds ago. Just wrote it down. They've been in my notes. Don't worry. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm prepared. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> Gavin, last time. During the rainy Spider-Man movies, we talked about a tray scene in Spider-Man 1. Yep. And I said it took them, like, 500-something tries, I think it was. Yeah. And it took them 156 takes. Look, either way, that's that a lot. That's, yeah, that's a lot. It's still a lot. I mean, 500 is way more, but, like, still, like, a lot. Yeah. Still, the patience on all of them. It's just commendable, honestly. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to do that. I wouldn't be able to do it either. I think I'd almost lose my mind. <laughs> yeah, and on that same movie, I talked about how um, I wanted to talk <clears throat> about the repercussions that 9-11 had on Spider-Man 1, but I never got to it yeah, because didn't. I always say, oh, I'll get to it, and then I never actually <laughs> get to it. But I get to it here. So, all right. So, 9-11, as we all know, happened in 2001. Uh-huh. Tragic. And Spider-Man 1 was released in May of 2002. They had... Didn't they have a scene with the Twin Towers in the back, right? Yeah, so basically there was a teaser trailer <clears throat> or a trailer at the time because teaser trailers didn't really exist. It was just trailers. Yep. And it was a scene of like a bank robbery and it's it looks really bad if you look at it. <laughs> like, it doesn't look like it belongs in the movie at all. I, I almost think it was filmed just for the trailer. It probably was. They did that a lot, didn't they? They still do that a lot, right? Like, I'm pretty sure they do. I could, Yeah, it makes sense to not spoil it. But this one, there's like a bank robbery scene with some just like whatever bank robbers. And then eventually they go off in a helicopter and the helicopter gets like entangled in a web. And it's like twitching like a fly. And the camera pulls out in like a weird like... He's on like a roof. Quick manner... And it has, like, the sound effect that every fucking, like, Fear Factor or, like, game show has. That, that's, like, it's, like, it's like a little, like, Fear Stinger kind of sound. That's you, you would, I know you what would, it is. Yeah. I watched Fear Factor, dude. I used to, at least. Yeah, and, and pulls out. And the, there the they are. The helicopter is being held in between the Twin Towers. Yikes. And... Yikes! Yeah, and that was that was pulled. I guess a couple uh, months later. Uh, I guess, I think it was sent out <clears throat> in like May or July. I'd imagine it can't be September. Or, yeah, 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 you know. And then it was pulled, and I guess another trailer took its place. Probably would just and, edited, edited them out, maybe. Yeah, and supposedly there might have been some kind of fight scene with Kabi surrounding the towers or something in the background or something. Could have been cool. Could have been cool. Could have been bad. Who knows? Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, I we'll just, never know. I just find that interesting. And they also added in more New Yorker stuff. Like, <laughs> hey, baby, get out of here. This <laughs> yeah. is New York. New York. Oh, oh, baby, you don't mess with New York. You get the whole. You mess with us. You mess with. You mess with one. You mess with all of us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And because like that was the real big thing at the time is like New York coming together and like I still like that kind of stuff. I love. Yeah, that. it's great. Like, it's wholesome. No, normal people coming together to fight some bad guys. Yeah, That's good dude. stuff. They have that in the Good movie. Soup. That has that. There's some of that in the movie we're gonna talk about. There is yeah. two of the movies. Yeah, actually, no, I think only one. I think he has it. By the by, yeah, we'll get we'll get to it. Yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all I got for Spider-Man as a follow-up. Well, no, well, but I do have more stuff I want to talk about. 
Sony had a kind of like I don't even I don't know what it's called, but they just showed a press bunch conference. of games. Yeah, press conference. I don't think it was a press conference per se. I <clears> think <throat> it was an investor kind of thing. No clue. I don't know. They showed off a bunch of stuff. I yeah. thought it was cool. And they showed off. I'll leave the big one for last. So God of War Ragnarok. I didn't watch this, by the way. You didn't watch this? No. Oh, but you looks, can tell me about it. It looks great. It looks like everything about the first one. Well, I haven't watched... But, you, no, I haven't even watched all any of it. Huh? Yeah. Uh, I like keeping myself surprised, you know? What? Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> What's the point of talking about it? Tell me about it, man. Tell me about it. No. Why? Can you watch one live? Like, right now? Yes, right now. What the hell? I guess. But, like, what are we going to do? Okay, so... Just tell me, man. Just I'll... wait until, until we get to that one. Okay. So, God of War Ragnarok, I want to talk about. I love the first God of War, or technically the fourth. It was a great, like, father-son parent yeah. trip. And going and doing <clears throat> stuff and killing, killing bad boys. guys and learning in a, in life a di- lessons. Yeah, and, and, a, different, and a, di- a very different gameplay style from the original... Oh, it's so great. The gameplay is so fantastic. I love it. Yeah. And this one looks, like, more of the same, but maybe, like, bigger stuff. Like, maybe we're going to... We're definitely going to fight Thor, which God is, like, of a Thunder. T- yeah, God of Thunder. <clears throat> the Norse God of War is in this tier, which <sighs> he's, like, fucking eight, ten feet tall or something like that. He's fucking huge. Like, he towers over Kratos, and I think Kratos is, like, eight feet tall. Kratos is a tall guy, man. Yeah, so... Imagine like, how much he's packing. Oh, he's packed. <laughs> <laughs> so, this looks great. I, I, I'm i excited for it. And it doesn't have a release date, which is... Like, it's fine. It's kind of off-putting, but it's like, take your time. <clears throat> yeah. Do what, do what you need to to make, make a, this game. Make a... Mwah. Just make yeah. another masterpiece. They're really good at making just exclusive titles. Sony's really good at it. Yeah, it's it's like playing a Star Wars game. It's like, take your time. If... Do what you need to. to yeah, I did good. get delayed. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, Insomniac <laughs> is working on two games right now. Number one, they are working on a brand new Wolverine game. Whoa, what? Yes. <laughs> Yo, no way. Yeah. That's fucking sick. It's, it didn't show much. It was just like some bad, bad guys are like in a bar. And, like, a fight definitely yeah, just went down. That's kind of cool. Wolverine's sitting at the bar. He, he doesn't see his face. <laughs> you outside? Yeah, I think he's... Yeah, he is. Oh, okay. He's, he flew yeah. away. Okay, sorry. We, we, were, we were scared of a bee. Yeah. Continue. <laughs> continue. But, yeah, so, like, Wolverine's sitting at the bar, and you don't see his face or whatever. You just see his, his hand. Mm-hmm. And you see from the background, like, the camera pulls up to show his hand. And Oof. in the background... You see some more bad guys like pull up to walk into the bar, and you just see the claws come out. Oh, that's so and cool! And it cuts to black, and it's oh, <sighs> it's it's gonna be great. It I'm has excited. To be, right? Insomniac makes great games. They've ne- I don't know one bad game they've ever made. Yeah, I'm honestly I'm super excited. I didn't, nobody knew this was coming. There was some rumor about. I didn't. You just told me. I thought when I saw your note, I thought it was a movie. Oh. <laughs> like actually. There was a rumor about some other game that they thought Insomniac was making, but nobody thought they were making a Wolverine game. So, oh, dude, please do it good. Oh man, please well, have it oh. like mature, and I want to see fucking body parts, blood. Please, that'd be so fucking cool. I've, I've seen too much X Men movies with no blood, no blood. Like he stabs people, no, no blood. blood, no. Like except Lo- in like Logan, Logan, right? Yeah, Logan was great. Logan, Logan was a good movie. Yeah, like it was a genuinely just good movie. And it had blood. A good ending and to a good huge, ending. huge Jacked Men's uh, Wolverine yeah, and, character. And it was a good ending to that character who we've had at the time for 17 years. Like, please do good, Insomniac. This could be really they good. Ca- they have to, right? Yeah, they have to. Like, even the one Wolverine game that came out that was like X-Men Origins was yeah. actually like an okay game. Yeah, but that wasn't them, so. Yeah, it wasn't them, but like that was still an okay game, so you got like a decent way to like platform off to it. Improve on that game even. Maybe yeah. make it completely different. Now here, here's a question. Um, would would you want a like open world kind of style game with Wolverine? How do you how do you do that though? Because he's not that fast, man. Well, like you get him on a, on a bike or something. But yeah, I, he does ride bikes. I was thinking more of. I heard somebody say, kind of like, like a, a, I would like a God of War type game. 
Yeah, like it's it's like a behind the back type of thing. It's it's linear, but it's but it's, it's also horrible. Yeah, like kind of like Last of Us Two. Yeah, like a Last of Us game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last of Us Two in particular because Last of Us One was kind of do this and yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't want something strictly linear. I think that would be just too like. Yeah, at this point, games like not really big, replayable. Yeah, at this point, big games like they're mostly open because it's like easy to like make them like more replayable. Yeah, I think you need to strike a happy medium between like. A really linear game. Do you think they're gonna get Hugh Jackman as a voice actor? I don't think so. Yeah. I immediately thought that Steve Blum would probably be voicing him because he voices Wolverine and everything. in everything. Yeah, like everything Cart- animated, cartoons. Which I'm not the biggest fan of him as Wolverine. I don't think he's bad because I always think of him, or like I play. I used to play a lot of Call of Duty Zombies, and I still kind of do. Oh, okay. And I always think of him as um, the American guy. Fuck, what's his name? Tank fuck. Dempsey. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was I was thinking Steve Blum as him. So whenever I hear Wolverine, I think of the guy from Zombies. <laughs> right. And yeah, so I hope it's good. Yeah, it's gotta be good. It's right? gotta be good. So, like I don't think I actually can't think of any bad Insomniac game. Yeah. Off the top of my head. Sunset Overdrive was okay. Sunset Overdrive. I had fun with that. Yeah. yeah. But I, it was different. It was next, definitely different. I liked it. For next that one. Insomniac. Yeah. <laughs> Insomniac is also making another game, Spider. Pretty Man obvious one too. Obviously, yeah. The like the, the the first one was great and successful by a, a huge. It was huge. It was a huge game. Oh, it was huge. Everybody, like was, everyone loved that shit. And yeah. I, I mean, dude, I played a little bit of it. I mean, the puddles oh. could have been a bit better, but you oh know. my god, whatever, dude. That's such a <laughs> you're such an asshole, dude. That's such a minor. I thing. don't forget that. that. I'm never gonna forget that. How people or like, fucking compared the puddles <laughs> from the E3 I, 2016 trailer. To the goddamn real game. It's I, like, I'm sorry your fucking liquid doesn't look as good. And, like, the exaggerated... But the suit looked better. But fuck <laughs> me, right? Yeah, but then the uh, the second one, Miles Morales, the exaggerated swagger of a black teen. Yeah. <laughs> that was, you know all about that, right? I do, <laughs> I do have exaggerated swagger. Look at me, dude. Uh, but, yeah, that was a great game, too. A little short, but whatever. That's what I've heard. I haven't played it. I haven't played it either. I've just heard it's, it's way shorter than the first one. Whatever. It's yeah. kind of like a DLC. It was cheaper than, you know, a full like $50, game. dollars right? 40 40 I think, yeah. That's not bad. It's really not bad. For a shorter game. Yeah, it's, it's shorter. I mean, obviously. And for a PS5 start, like, that's a good price. Because, yeah. like, most of those games are $70. Yeah. I want you to watch this teaser. Okay? <laughs> yeah, but we can't do it on here, right? You can watch it on your phone. Yeah, but I mean, like, you can't record me watching something. Well, I can, and I will. We're going to get copywritten, dude. If we do, I'll cut it out. Uh, Re-upload it. (laughs) Okay. I guess. Whatever, man. Here we go. First first trailer reactions. Oh, Gavin reacts. (laughs) This is the first... (laughs) First Gavin reacts, Insomniac Games. They're such a good company, dude. Yeah, they're pretty good. Like, I really can't think of a bad game. They didn't have the Spider-Man logo where he pulls it in. Oh, that's lame. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, wait. Are you watching... This is... Yeah. Oh, Spider-Man. Okay. Just, yeah. I thought you were watching Wolverine. No, no. No, this is uh, captured on the PS5, by the way. Oh, is, Elect- is Electro going to be in this? Yeah. Oh, Electro was in the last one. Was he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sinister Six. I'm fucking retarded. Oh, we can't. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, dude. Do we get to play as both? Yeah. That's badass. So. Well, two, obviously. Oh, dude, that's sick. Ooh. Cool take time. Is that K? What's his name with the K? Okay. The Hunter? Car- Carver? Craven? Craven the Hunter? I think so. Pretty sure. Oh, my God. What's in the, what's in the alley? What's in the alley? What's in the alley, bro? Is that... Oh, it's Venom! 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 Oh, Venom. It's Venom! That's why I didn't want to. I didn't want to spoil it. Hell for yeah! It. Yeah, dude, Venom. He bro. looks good, man. He does look really good. He looks, he looks better great. than the Spider-Man Three. Venom! Venom! <laughs> Venom! 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 That's funny. That's fu- That's cool, yeah. dude. If we get to play as both, that's dude. That's if pretty- we could play as co-op, we should oh, play. Oh, dude, that would be. Are you getting so a fun. PS5? I want to, man. If I could fucking find one. Yeah, it's not like a thousand fucking dollars. Dude, I literally looked it up the other day. It is a thousand dollars. I saw the cheapest one was seven fifty. 
And it came with, like, a second controller and a headset. And I'm like, yeah. okay, I mean, that's kind of okay, but, like, it Sounds still. like a scam. Because everybody else is $1,000, so why would somebody be seven fifty? Right? I don't know. Whatever, man. It's, it's going to be great. In 2023, I said. Oh. At the end of the trailer. Oh. So, we have time to figure out supply <laughs> and, like, getting PS5s and stuff. So I hope. Do great, Insomniac. The last one was fantastic. The I, fat last two were fantastic. I haven't played that one, so I can't Other say one was, quality. I heard good. But Short. the first one alone, I played. I've replayed it so many times. Oh, it's so good! Like I've hundred percent in it so many times. I have it. I've played it a, a little bit, but I was like, dude, if only I had a PS4. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? I'm like, dude, this is so good. Like I wish I didn't fucking sell my PS4. <laughs> are you Are you waiting to get the PS5 to get like the new, like updated version then? What do you mean? Because they're they did a re- quote unquote remaster. Oh, I'm not gonna get the first one. I'm just gonna get Miles Morales and. The new one that will come. So you out. haven't played like all of the first one? No. You should play all the first one. Should I? Okay. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Like it's got some great, like <clears throat> it's it's probably the best Spider-Man content out there. Honestly, probably it's fucking great. Damn. But yeah. speaking of Spider-Man content, yeah, we didn't even do the last two there. Oh yeah, I was so pumped. <laughs> you so 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 you should let that last so that you can transition. <laughs> <clears throat> so, Gavin, yeah, you're into music. Yeah, I am. I this I'm might actually, be a fun talking point. This might be the... Yeah, I'm a good music... I'm a music guy. Um, A highly anticipated album... Yes. ...came out yesterday as a recording this. He gave birth. He gave birth. <laughs> <laughs> Montero by Lil Nas X. Ooh. Oh, release. man. I, well, I, re- I listened to it. I listened to <clears throat> five songs. Four of them were good. And... It sounds promising. It sounds pretty good, man. Man, I gotta do a fucking music review one day. We gotta put that on here. Maybe. Maybe as uh, TikToks. That's perfect because I can do short. Make a short. I mean, I could give you. Yeah, I could give you the maybe like, login yeah. and you could do it yourself. Could, yeah, that there actually might. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we just wow, wow. dude, <laughs> guys. Did you hear that? We just playing something. That's history. That's history. Wow. That's you made. You heard that first. Right, right here. And the last one we'll save until the end. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's, fa- that's fair. Yeah. I saw what it was, don't worry. Uh, I gotta find where my fucking notes are. Uh, very professional. Uh, ba-dum. Ba-dum, 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 so, ba-dum, it, once ba-dum, again, ba-dum. everyone knows the story of me, of Spi- just Spider-Man. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, so we're, we're reviewing the Amazing Spider-Man movies. So we're gonna actually do a different format this season. Or, from now on. Yeah, so we, we've discussed that, like... Newer movies, we'll we'll do the <clears throat> we'll yeah, do a plot. explaining. We'll do plots, but older movies, like chances are you've seen them, so you don't really need it. Chances are you've seen them, you've seen reviews, and also the bit just doesn't feel like it works as much. So. No, yeah, it was so, just really good the first time, and it hasn't really clicked. Yeah, and that's just my opinion, and I do it. I do that bit. You do do the bit. I did do the bit. You did do the bit. <laughs> All right, let's start it out. So the Amazing Spider-Man. Wow, directed by who? Directed by Mr. Mark Webb. Wow, what a funny story. Starring joke. Mr. Andrew Garfield. Wow, what a and guy. And Ms. Emma Stone. He has a really good American accent. Andrew Garfield? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I've seen him in The Social Network. He's better in that movie. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, probably. I don't know. Um, so, I, I didn't think I was going to like this movie a whole lot. I had bad memories of this being like really dark I didn't. and like, oh, I'm edgy Peter and oh, I'm hot and oh, I'm. <laughs> I, I didn't got have that. Stone, I told you and... that he was just kind of like a skater boy. Well, yeah, that, that, that's what I that's got what... when I went back in this movie. He's a like, shy, nerdy skater boy. Yeah, who has a crush on a cute girl. And, and I think I, we've all done that. And I think that's actually it's very relatable to me because I'm such a skater, bro. Yeah, wait, hold on. What? 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 Oh my god, what? What? Oh my I god. Move back. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to hit me or something. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I like this Peter. It's it's a good distinction from like the normal nerd wacky ass fucking Peter. And that's why I like this Peter. Yeah. A little more than Toby Maguire. At um, least in this movie. Only in this movie. <laughs> yeah. I also like that he's actually shown to be smart. Yeah. Because he's got he's got like little like, contraptions. He's, yeah, he's he's, a, a, he's really adaptive when he's like sneaking around Oscorp and like Yeah. Like a smart guy would be able to like figure out yeah. How to do things and move around people and yeah, I like this Peter like, and how he like is more of a like techie guy, like he's a gadget type. Yeah, he's got that little like door thing. Yeah, which is cool. Yeah, like I wish I had that yeah. shit. I don't have a door. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I wish I had a door. Hey, you don't have a door. It's just a fucking stairs going up in your room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Whatever. It's a big nice room, so I don't care. See, so, yeah, um, 
Uh, I don't have too many notes on this movie, actually. It's okay. It's like the subway scene after he gets his powers. Where he gets oh, that was, that was cool. That was a little funny, kind of. I want to like this scene, but it's edited so badly. Yeah, some cuts are a little weird. It cuts before it hits. Mm-hmm. And it's cutting a million times a fucking second. <laughs> it's really bad. It's one of the worst edited scenes in the movie. And it really sticks out to me. Really? It sticks out to me every time. I think it's a nice little scene. Even if it's a little edited, a little, little wacky. It's not a little wacky. It's really bad. <laughs> I wish I could show you it again to show you how bad Maybe, it is. Maybe. Who knows? I, I didn't mind it, though. I liked it. It was a little funny. It was a little tongue-in-cheek, if you will. Yeah. It was nice. Um... After that tweet, Peter tweaking out. <laughs> yeah. Tweeter peeking out. Is <laughs> Tweet- <laughs> <laughs> Tweeter peeking out, dude. Peter tweaking out is pretty, pretty great. Yeah. Like it's, oh, dude, yeah. It makes sense. Like, yeah, he got, he got, he got bit, by the way, in like his neck. Yeah. And that, so that would kind of make sense. Is that the brain almost, dude? Oh, yeah. It's like the brain. Yeah. Yeah. Because like it, got, he, he got, got bit in the hand in the, ori- in, like, in the original and in the movie. Yeah. He got bit in the hand. And right. the spider, like, but no, if you get bit in the fucking like, brain, dude, you're gonna have visions of fucking weird ass spiders and webs and other bullshit. Well, I I took it as like in um, Superman when he always gets his powers, it's like usually at school and it's like usually freaking him out and like yeah, super hearing and like he can see through walls and shit. Yeah, I took it as that as like it was like sensory overload kind of thing. Yeah, maybe who knows? And like he that's why he was tweaking. <laughs> he do be tweaking though. <laughs> um. Peter's a skateboard guy. Yeah, I like it. He's a skater boy. I, I, <laughs> See you later, boy. <laughs> he wasn't good enough for her. Yeah. Or he, him. I don't, yeah. I don't remember, dude. I, I remember, shout out to Avril Lavigne. She's a queen. Sh- yeah, shout out to... I don't know. I don't know. A- Av- yeah. Whatever. Uh, yeah, I like this. I really... I like the distinction they did. Like, to make him a little different. Yeah, it's it's a, like so slight, too. It's not a lot. He's just a skater guy now. Yeah, and, and it's... I used to think it was like, oh yeah, he's cool. And no, like, he's not he's cool. He's still fucking nerd, dude. He's, yeah, he's not cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, and, um... Dude, Flash, or, yeah, Flash still yeah. pushes him around, bro. He's like, dude, you fucking take a picture of this shit and shove it like a kid. <laughs> <laughs> like, and take it, shoving a kid's face in food. What a dickhead, dude. What a dickhead. He has a weird character development, too. We'll get With to Flash? that. Yeah. I liked it. I liked I, Flash. I, it was nice little watch, Where, like, I thought. he... He gets simulated by Peter. Wait, we should get to that until we get to it. Are we there? Oh, we can talk about it. Oh, sure, we can talk about what we're here. But so, like, yeah, he, Flash, he, again, is being an ass to Peter because he's a fucking nerd. Yeah, and he, and, like... And when, when Peter... Yeah. This is a good scene, too. When Peter gets first gets his powers, and he, like, fucks with <laughs> Flash in the basketball court, I was I, like... I like that. There's yeah, like, it was there's like a lot little, of nuance to Flash's, like, kind of writing because he doesn't say yeah, a lot. He, he has depth now. He, well, like... Kinda. When really. that when Peter is like doing that to Flash, he doesn't say a lot because he's just taking all that in. Yeah. And like, what should he do so he doesn't look like an idiot? Yep. And, and he, so eventually he backs off and he just challenges Peter and he's like, "Come on, Parker! Yeah. Come on!" And fucking Peter, and he just rams right fucking into him. Dunks it on his ass. He dunks on his head, dude. Yeah. And it breaks the whole fucking backboard. Yeah. And that, that's like, whoa, okay. And maybe, Jesus maybe Christ. Calm down. And then yeah, he got yeah. called in the office. But yeah, I like I like Peter be, uh, Peter being a skateboarder. Yeah, it's cool. Cause it, like I think like if you're a skateboarder, you like thrills and stuff or whatever. And it would and make so, so yeah, it makes sense that he would likes the he likes the the web swinging and he which out in, the, yeah, which in like when he's skating around, like he just he gets on the chains, he swings around, he's already trying. Yeah, that and so out. it gives him the idea because mm-hmm. why would he like go for web swinging if that's not actually one of his powers? Yeah, because he gets the the webs from Oscorp. And he invents the web shooters, but it's like, if that's not his powers, why would he go to that? But they make sense out of it, mm-hmm. and I like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool, actually. And then the Becoming Spider-Man montage is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Where he's, like, he's actually making the suit. And, yeah. Like, he's slowly evolving it. Like, he, at first, he just has, like, a red mask with, like, glasses on, and then eventually he takes the glasses yeah, off. Yeah, he looks he like puts a vigil- the straight up or... looks like a vil- vigilante, kind of. I mean, which is what is. they, Which is what they kind of go for in the movie. Yeah, he kind of is, because... He's the At whole that point, pro- that, he's not a he's not a superhero. No, he's yet. just trying to look for who killed Uncle Ben. Oh, spoiler! Yeah. Alert. Um, Uncle Ben dies. Oh shit! God damn Whoa. it! I'm sorry. <laughs> spoiler alert! Uh, Uncle Ben dies in a in a. Does he? Yeah. It can be <laughs> <laughs> so actually, I also like how they just made it different here too. 
I didn't like it as much. Really? I thought I liked this one more than the original one, but for some reason it just something felt like it was missing. So, so, so basically, when and it was weirdly, is it, is it after Peter dunks? Yeah. This is after he dunks and he goes home after like a night yeah, of cause, yeah. Because after he dunks, Uncle Ben is Uncle there. Ben gives him the great responsibility and thing. I I really like the scene between Gwen and Peter, where he's like, uh, Uncle Ben Martin Sheen is like. Oh yeah, he's got you on his computer. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm his probation officer. I'm his probation officer. And he's <laughs> like, oh, that was just my uncle. He's a pathological liar. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, so you know, it's like she she has voice cracks. It's kind of it's kind of cute. Oh my god, she, dude, uh, they're com- dude, you dude, their chemistry is so good. Yeah, it's, actually, it's very, good. it's really they're good. Very cute together. They are like very cute. They're like, they, look, they were like tw- in their twenties when they made this, yeah. but like. You could believe that they're still in their, you know, they're still teenagers because of the way they, they act. They look like seniors to me. Oh yeah, dude, dude, I was, it was crazy. I thought like Andrew Garfield. I looked at his age. So I'm like, he looks really young here. I wonder how old he is. He was 20. I did math. He was 28 when he made when he was in the. Wow. Okay. And like, uh, Emma Stone was like 23. Huh. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> Oh my. Yeah, she has like little voice cracks. She's like, so you don't have me on your computer? And he's like, well, I do. I, I was just touching up things, <laughs> stuff. And she's like, touching up stuff? And he's like, I'm, I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> Which really is good. like, fair enough, man. Yeah, like, I mean, that's hard to come back from. Lit- yeah, come back. Yeah, I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, how do you feel about Uncle Ben in this movie? I like him. I thought I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think I was going to like him because of Martin Sheen. You don't like? Do you not like Martin Sheen? I don't know. I just see him as older Charlie Sheen, honestly. <laughs> but in this Fair movie, enough. he was pretty good. He he gave a different dynamic to Peter, even though it led to the same thing. Wait, and, Spider-Man, dude. Yeah. I did. <laughs> Something about this movie I noticed is they do a. On face value, it looks like the same story, but as the first one, and a lot of people say that is like the Amazing Spider-Man is just Spider-Man, but it's less fun. I don't think that. No. I, it, I took note of a lot of different things that we didn't see in the original, and it was done differently, and also just new stuff. Yeah. Actually, and, I really liked it. It's a nice little alternative. Yeah. Like, honest. I actually, I, yeah, like, I like the little different stuff. I like it, the Uncle Ben, you know, because I didn't even finish that. Peter gets mad, and fucking Uncle Ben and him have, a, like, a fight. It's really nice. It's a cool scene. It's a nice Good acted scene. Yeah. Um, the and then Andrew, you know, he the he fucking is, destroys the door on the way out, yeah. and just walks away. And then Uncle Ben's like, "Fuck me, dude! I gotta find this kid." <laughs> and then he tries to find him. Peter goes to a fucking store to get milk. Shades of Nate He's any get, night. What do you mean? <laughs> he, some, if you just get some milk, you, you might get calm some down. chalky milk. You dude. get mommy's milk. You just calm down. <laughs> He's getting chalky milk, and he's like two cents down. What an asshole! By the way, at that store, he's two cents off. He's like, no, can't get, can't get this. Nah, milk, dude, dude, that's an awkward situation for the cashier. Just bring the correct amount. I don't, man. I don't know, man. He's two cents off. That's, I don't care, man. That's stingy as fuck. You don't have like two pennies on like the register to like give it. No. And then like you know the guy behind him robs him. He gives him the milk. He's like, oh cool. Milk. Peter wasn't being that nice either. Like he was kind of uh, yeah. expecting it. And he's like, what? What? Yeah, I guess. What? And then and then he does the whole not my problem thing when he gets yeah. robbed. And then the robber shoots Uncle But You know it. I, w- I want to talk about the speech oh, okay. that he gives him. I think in some ways it's better. And it makes more sense. And in some ways it's worse. Okay. So it's better in the sense that the great power with great, comes he did, great He didn't say it outright. Really. That speech is good. But it's unnaturally, like, pushed upon Peter because... You wouldn't really say that to somebody unless you knew they were becoming Spider-Man. Yeah. And that's what the screenwriters know, so they're going to have Uncle Ben say that. So in the original, that's what they have mm-hmm. in Spider-Man and in the comics. Which But happen? here it's said in a different way. He doesn't that's even say said it. more. It makes more sense. And yeah, it's not, it's not great. He doesn't, comes, great, yeah, he doesn't outright say that at all. But without saying those words, it feels less impactful and less meaningful. Maybe. And I don't even remember what he says. That's like... I don't know. It's long. It's like if you don't do the things, like, to help people and you could have stopped them or something, that's be, a stake and you, you're, you're a worse responsible? person. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. It, it, I can't even remember it. And so it makes it worse in that way. But it feels... 
a little more natural. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard. It's weird, but yeah. I, 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 he, Mark Webb was in the screen screenwriter. Everyone was trying to make it different, yeah. and it kind of they kind of do. Like I feel like it's a pretty good alternative. Like I said before. Yeah, I th- I think it's okay for what it is. Yeah. I think I do prefer Spider Man ones. Uncle Ben's seen the more. Even though I have problems with that. Maybe. I actually like, like this one better. I don't know. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. Okay, I'll give it to you. I don't, I, like I said, I can't remember it very often, but it's it's very well done scene. And that's all I really care about, man. Okay. Um, the suit. What do you think of the suit? I like it. People I, sh- I remember people shat on it. I, because of this whole little... The, the little I don't even know what they... Oh, I didn't like, even notice that. I didn't notice it either. Like, the little oval on the bottom. I don't know what you're talking about, honestly. Okay, so on the suit, like, it's all... You know, it's red, right? And then yeah. there's a little... It looks circly. Kind of like... I don't even know. It looks like weird. Like a Speedo? It, no, I don't even know. I can't explain it, bro. I like it, though. It's really... It pops out. I like it because, like... Um, I put, like, the colors. Like, it's muted colors. And it's darker colors of, like, red and blue. But the material that they have on it... It makes it look really good. Yeah. Like, it makes it really, like... Pop out. I don't know. It looks... It just scratches something in my brain. It's like, yeah, that's nice. But the eyes don't like them. Really? I don't mind the eyes. The dark just... Like, there's shots of the eyes where they, like, they're kind of white. But otherwise, they're just completely black. And they, I don't know, it's something Mm off-putting. I think if you did, like... I don't know, maybe... Not even white eyes, because maybe that would look weird with the dark blue and dark red, but, like, maybe gray eyes or something? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I think it looked fine. I like the suit overall. Yeah. I don't really know if Spider-Man's ever really had a bad suit, honestly. I don't think so either. I don't really think so. They Most of the time, they do a pretty good job yeah. at designing it. And I wouldn't want this to be a suit in all the movies, but it's a nice but they, they of always case. They always change it yeah, in some little way. Yeah, it's, it's different. It's... You gotta change things up. Yeah. And at the very least, I like it when they try something new. Yeah. If you did the same thing over and over again, it'd get boring. Yeah, it'd get new. And you'd be just like, oh, it's new. It'd be samey. It'd be like, oh, it's a new Spider-Man suit. Yeah. So, uh, I like that. People change it up. People always look forward to the new suits, and this is just a fact. Not even Spider-Man, actually. Video game, the the fucking movie-wise, anything, really. Comic-wise, you know, all that. And I've heard people call it, uh, it looks like a basketball (laughs) <laughs> Which I kind of see. But I get also, it, but also like, I don't. I it feels like one of those things like people really hate on this movie, and I it feels feel like, like they, you're really trying they to hate, make you hate. I, I feel like they too. hate on the sequel more. But again, we'll get to that. Yeah, we'll get to that in a little bit. The car thief scene, I think, is really funny. <laughs> um, I, I think that's one of. The oh yeah, when he's like when Sp- Spider Man's being a little dickhead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's really good. Oh dude, I love it when he's like. Uh, and she just webs his <laughs> dick, dude. <laughs> what yeah. an asshole. He's really funny. But then he gets Andrew Garfield's serious. really funny. Yeah, he's... I don't think he has the face of Peter. Like, when he's Peter, well, I don't really well, like it. Well, I, but when, he, when he's Spider-Man, I think he's really good. He's got the voice of Spider-Man to me. Oh, he's got that voice down. But Peter Parker, his Peter Parker, isn't that good to me and I don't I like, enjoy it I like his Peter Parker there's I, moments I, where I like him as Peter Parker I like but. it's different he's he's a little more awkward I think I feel like Tobey Maguire would at least talk a little more I think he's maybe they're the same he's usually Peter Parker when he's around Gwen yeah and I think I don't know like he does weird faces towards her and like real sexy faces and <laughs> It just feels off, and I mean, you know what? Know. When we get to a later scene, he is kind of a smooth dude. So, <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I have next. Oh really? Peter, and the smoothest fucking scene <laughs> I've ever seen in my entire life. Holy shit! This guy, knows, this guy, this guy fucks. Like, he, no way he doesn't fuck. So like, there, he's like, he's like, I'm, I wanna he wants to he's tell like, her. Like, he's like, I want to tell you something, and she thinks he's gonna say, "I love you." Yeah. But then he, because he's uh, been bit, and she's like, "Me too." And, and, and she, <laughs> and then she's like, they make weird sounds to each other. And like, he's like, it's awkward. It's and, cute. And, yeah, and, and Peter's an awkward little boy, so he's like, I. And, <laughs> and he's like, forget it, forget it. And then she's like, okay, and she, and then walks and she away. Starts but he's like, and he just looks, and she's like. Whoa! Whoa and they start the kissing, ass, dude. dude. He pulls her out and she spins right to him. And then they just smack. Dude, they smooth, smack. Smooth as butter they... on a baby's ass, dude. <laughs> they start smacking, dude. Oh, my God. And then, God. He, then, and then the mom, mom comes the mom, out. The mom catches oh, them in God. 4K, dude. Jeez. Caught in 4K. Christ. That's awkward. Yeah, dude. Dude, you should have seen... 
Did you see Gwen's face before they make out to you? She was like, huh? she was turned on. To and it's, <laughs> Dude, she's like, oh. <laughs> like, I'm sure, man. Like, <laughs> Me too, honestly. Um, yeah. That's great. And yeah. the argument scene before that. Um, oh, yeah, with the dad. Or wait, actually, no, this is. I want to go when, ahead to the lizard scene. Oh. Uh, Dr. Kurt Connors. In the Burt movie. Bonners. Cool. I, I think that's actually a decent. Villain to go for, yeah, and it's different. It wasn't trying to do something because uh, Kurt, Con- yeah, like, because uh, Kurt Connors to talk about in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, yikes. Uh, Kurt Connors, he was in the movies, but like barely. I think he was in all the movies. He was the most in three, I think. Yeah, he was an actor I recognized, but I never know the name. Of I didn't. Him. Yeah, <laughs> he's got like a I don't know tiki face. <laughs> Looks like a, a, a I see it. T- I see it. A tiki faced, I mean shaped face. Anyway, he's barely in those movies, so I I like that they went for. You know, Kirk Connors in this one made him the main villain because, like, hey, it's different. Yeah. You know, and Lizard's a cool, cool villain. He's pretty cool. He's pretty... I think the design could have been a bit better. Yeah, he he kind of looks. Like, he doesn't. He doesn't look as cartoony. Well, he looks like a Goomba from. The Super <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He looks like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle from the 2014 hit remake, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. <laughs> okay, but hear me out. This movie was made before in la- that. Yeah, I know. So, so, th- so I guess. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles They're stole. ripping off this movie. Yeah, but either way, they look similar. That's all I'm saying. He does look like a Goomba. <laughs> I think he but, looks fine, though. He still looks intimidating. Yeah, he looks fine. He's huge. It, he's a it, fucking lizard. I think it's when his face is, like, center really up close. He's, yeah. he's not moving too yeah, much. Like you when, see it. Yeah, like when... But um, in action, he when he's, cool. like, fighting Spider-Man and stuff, he, he looks fine. He looks cool as fuck. You forget about it. Yeah. Uh, the yeah, when you're talking about the face thing, the main part I didn't like, like when you were talking about that, is when Peter's like down in the sewer and he tries to catch a picture of him, because I think there's like an award, like a award if you catch a picture yeah. of this guy. Yeah. And he tried to, but like he talks to Spider-Man a little bit and he looks fucking dead ugly. <laughs> <laughs> like. Hey, hey, Paul. Peter Parker. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. And then he, fi- yeah, he finds out that Spider-Man's Peter Parker. Yeah. As every villain does. As that, yeah, literally any villain. Yeah. <laughs> like, Actually, yeah, literally every villain. <laughs> I know. Of Spider Man has fa- Fuck! I didn't realize that <laughs> until now. Yeah. Yeah, Green Goblin knew it was Peter. Doc Ock found out it was Peter. Did Sandman Sa- find out? Yeah, Sandman. He did at the end. Sandman but did he know? And Venom. Did he know of? Pe- yeah, he did. He still yeah. found out. He's. I still count it, even if it's like at the end. He still found out. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Lizard found out. I guess Electro. He didn't. did find. Kinda. I don't know. We'll get there. I guess that's up for interpretation. Hey, we'll get to Jamie Foxx in a second. Um, uh, Goo Goblin. Goo (laughs) Goblin. Oh, my God. Crack Goblin, sorry. Yeah, please. Crackhead Goblin. Crack, cracked Goblin. Yikes. And (laughs) Vulture and Mysterio now. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure that the next one's going to know. So, I guess Electro, I I don't know. He kind of does. We'll get there. You know what I mean? But yeah, so on on this one, the first time Lizard fights Spider-Man... Lizard! Is, uh, yeah. ...is uh, on the bridge, and... They don't fight. I like... Oh, yeah, they don't. Yeah, yeah remember, because right. Lizard runs away, and that's cool, I think. I think it was kind of cool, because he didn't want to hurt people at the time, kind of. Yeah, he just wanted to hurt that scientist that was going yeah. to the... Yeah, he wanted to hurt... The, that was going to, like, hospital. destroy him in his career. Well, he was going to experiment on veterans. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which, yeah, he wasn't really hurting. He was, but he didn't want to. So that's why he, I thought it was cool that he ran away. Yeah. I thought. It was a little, add a little, little depth to, he, it, to him. But speaking of depth, here's a depth I like. Um, So, with the bridge scene. Oh, when you see the kid? the argument. Oh, okay. Those two scenes, I like those together because in the argument scene with Gwen Stacy's dad... I think Peter Parker realizes that Spider-Man has only been going after this one guy, and he actually hasn't been he, stopping crime. And he kind of does, you know, he could see that, oh yeah, kind of like, this was kind of like vigilante shit. Yeah, and so in the next scene... He, he saves like, a kid. He saves, he saves a kid, he saves a bunch of cars from falling in the river. Dude, that was, scene was tense. Yeah, it was great. I, I don't, I I don't that. remember that scene at all, and I'm like, dude, that's, he's smart too, he like, gave the... Here, get the mask. It'll yeah, give you powers. I love that kind of. I love in, like superheroes inspiring kids. I love. That's like, cool. I told you that shit's my king, dude. Like, <laughs> it's your king. like superheroes saving ordinary people. And then and the, inspiring kids. Yeah, that's he, my he king. saves the kid, and the dad's like, "Who are you?" And he fucking gets out of the Spider Man. That's when he says Spider Man for the first time, in the movie at least. Isn't it? Yep. Pretty sure because he never had a name. 
Maybe. Because he's like, he's, huh. he hesitates. He looks at him. He's like, Spider-Man. Know. Like that. And then he webs away. Okay. And I'm assuming that guy must have told every all of New York. Yeah. As we'll see later. <laughs> <laughs> and then everybody's like, oh, he's, he's destroyed everything. And he's like, or is that, in the, is that in the movie? I remember it, but I don't know. Wait, what? Like where civilians are like, oh, I don't like him. No, I don't think so. Not in this one. No? Because remember, they help him with the cranes in the end. Like the citizens. Oh. Either way. Uh, Lizard fighting in the school. Yeah, that, that was, was great. A fun scene. That was cool. That was a good fight scene. It was really good. Like where he's like, Gwen helps him out. And he, he's like, I'm going to throw you over the balcony now. <laughs> he's like, she's like, what? And she's like, what? And she's like, ah! <laughs> And then he, he webs up uh, Lizard like a spider. He's called Yeah, dude. Over. That was fun. <laughs> Stan, Stan Lee. Lee. <laughs> oh, this is one of my favorite Stan Lee cameras. It is. It's my favorite. It is like, my favorite. Like, he's just listening to opera and saying. <laughs> he doesn't notice what the fuck's going on. Yeah. How do you not? He almost fucking dies. Dude, how? Yeah, because the desk. Yeah, Lizard almost... throws a desk at him, and it's like two inches from him. And he doesn't notice. He's just jamming out to opera. Oh, dude, he's just. Jamming out to some Mozart, dude. How do you think he reacted when he went out of the classroom when he did and was like, what the fuck's going on around here? He's and like, it's like huh. destroyed every, like glass everywhere. <laughs> He's just like, huh. I think I know that guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus, get the fuck out of here, bug. Anyway, yeah. That was funny. Yeah. Also, I think just Stanley and Spider-Man movies makes me happy. Oh, yeah. Like in the third one. Yeah. He never, did he make a cameo in the others? I know he made a cameo in the third one. And the first one, it's really quick. He saves a lady from falling debris at uh, the World Fair. Okay, I don't remember two. that. Two. Was he in two? Two was... He gives Spider-Man a pep talk, and he's like, I guess one man can make right. a Right, yeah, you're right. Enough, enough said. Yeah, that's a really good scene. And three? Three, he was like being like, that guy is cool, or something about Spider-Man. Or was that three that you just said? When you just said two? Hmm. <laughs> you right? I don't know. I think he only made a cameo in the third one. He definitely made a cameo in all of them. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe they're all quick. I think I think the 2015 Fantastic Four is like the only Marvel movie he hasn't cameoed in. Well, probably for the best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good movie. Yeah. But either way, uh, love Stanley. Lee. Stan Lee's awesome. He's so wholesome. Yeah. Wrist and power. Um, I didn't take many notes for this movie. I was skipping through a lot. It's okay. Towards the end, Gwen Stacy's dad is fucking so really we, trying we for Spider-Man. Yeah, we really got to talk about him. He is like one of the main villains, kind of. Kind of. In a I sense. Mean, well, he's like a sub-villain, but also like he has good intentions, kind of. Yeah. Like he's like, oh, dude, this guy's fucking a menace to society. But yeah, because like... He's like webbing up like people that, well, they are robbers, but yeah. they... He just is like, well, well he's, we he's can do it. It's our job. And yeah. like, they don't know Spider Man. Like we know Spider Man. Yeah, and, and he he doesn't exactly look like a hero with the dark colors and like stuff like that. Yeah, maybe. So and he's like, well, dude, this guy looks like he's a fucking menace, bro. And he like talks about it at the dinner scene, which is I like that scene. Yeah, uh, it's like a debate. It's like the Republicans and Democrats debating. It's really good. Sounds like anybody debating. <laughs> It's just funny to do the politics. Yeah, stuff. that's the main political. One. The oh come on! I didn't choose to choose a side there. Political. Oh, well, that's fine. Choo choo. Anyway, it's how you say uh, Democrat, so you're definitely a Democrat. Oh, for fuck's sake! And it's definitely because I'm making fun of the Democrats that have a conservative. <laughs> <laughs> oh politics! Yeah, get fucked, political people. Oh politics! I hate all of you. God, yeah. Stop Let's making get, your personality can, about it. Can we please get younger people? Anyway. Um, we gotta get out of the, wow, we gotta get out of, we're dipping our toes too far. Um, yeah, fair enough, but whatever. Yeah. We've never been political on the show, so. Well, so, so they're arguing. But, yeah, they're arguing. It's and a good, nice scene. He, he's got a point. They both have good points. Yeah, they both have good points. And so then he eventually gets him at the end. Mm -hmm. We got him. And, ladies and gentlemen. We got him. We got him. Yeah, because like, uh, like the, li <sighs> they the fucking the shoot him. They were trying to shoot him. <laughs> like shooting at this bitch. And like. He and he's like, put your hands He gets here. shocked, and like he's got his spider sense, and all the cops are surrounding him. Yeah, and, and, some... and Gwen Stacy's dad takes the mask off, but then he fucking he goes god mode, and he's beating cops while his head is down, and he's he's like doing fucking. Zach, what the fuck? Dude? It was great. I love that. 
Like, that was so and well then done. he's got him in the corner, dude. He's like, and turn he's like, around, bro. And he's like, Whoa. And he's like, better? <laughs> oh, better. <laughs> oh, better. <laughs> he's like, oh, shit. You fucking my daughter. <laughs> yeah. They sh- Jesus, they're at this point, probably. Yeah. Uh, yeah, especially after that. Dude, after he spun her, dude. Dude, we didn't even talk about the fact that he tried to fuck Gwen. Remember that? Yeah, remember because he went to Gwen after they fought. He fought. He got scratched up by the lizard. Oh yeah, and she's like easy bug boy. Y- yeah, I thought she said fuck boy. I had to like rewind. You have been that. ingrained. I saw it with subtitles on it. It says bug boy. No, I didn't get ingrained. I had to watch it three times before it oh. said bug boy. I'm dude. like, dude, that said fuck boy. Easy fuck boy. <laughs> like it would make sense. I don't right? think that was a term back then, honestly. I don't think so either. I was like, is this the first time fuckboy's ever been in me? But no, she doesn't want it. She's like, dude, stop. You've heard it here first, folks. Spider-Man was called a (laughs) fuckboy. Dude, this version of Spider-Man could be. Yeah, you could believe it. Yeah. Anyway, though. Yeah, that's an interesting scene. It's almost almost sexual harassment, honestly. (laughs) Oh, I'm not. You laugh, but it's true. What? Fucking Peter trying to fuck her when she's like, dude, easy. He stops. I know, but like I said, it's almost because he he does. It's not stop. almost. He what tr- do you mean it's almost? He tries to take. He tries to go, come on to her, and she's like easy the first time. And he still tries. He's like, <laughs> but eventually he does stop. I said almost. So. Okay, I'll give it to you. It's, it was a whatever. So. Um, I didn't say it was. They're they're getting to the lizard. He's like trying to turn people into. Yeah, he like, tries to turn lizards. people into lizards, which is weird. Which it's weird. I didn't hate it as much this time, but I don't particularly like how the just villain went crazy. I hate that it's like is this like the beginning of like let's go to the fucking tallest tower of fucking of city, of, shoot a blue beam and shoot a <laughs> shoot a beam, shoot a beam, <laughs> and fucking beam. What the fuck? Yeah, shoot the <laughs> beam. And it might have been. Who knows? Honestly, I don't remember. Like, it's 2012 or 11. It feels like Avengers it be... did it. This movie did it. Yeah, and they, they might have been the, the pioneers. Fantastic Four did it. Yeah, that was like 2015. Suicide though. Squad did it. That was like 2015 too, right? 2016? Well, the Dark World might have done it. I don't know. Either way, that's the plot, which is weird. Yeah. Um, The final battle. What do we think of the final, final battle? battle? I think it was okay. It's fine. Yeah, it was kind of bland. I thought. Like, there wasn't much going on, Fucking and he takes bland. out his web shooters, and he's like, oh, poor Peter Parker. Oh, yeah, that's oh, when he says that, pick yeah. Peter Becker, Peppel, Peppel. Peter he's... Becker, pick the pipe. <laughs> and then somehow pick Gwen's... Pick a, somehow, a pickle Rex. <laughs> somehow Gwen's father just, like, runs well, up yeah, all these flights of stairs. Yeah, yeah, I would think the elevators are out. I didn't even think about that, but, like, he's like he, he fucking huffed it up there. He must have, because he's like... Maybe, he, maybe got, he had a helicopter. I don't know, but either way, he's like, bow to the lizard. He... He's, like, getting frosted. Like, he gets in some good shots. Yeah, he does. He gets rid of his hand, but, of course, it's a lizard. It's going to grow back. Yeah, and he's like, I got this, Peter. And then then immediately he starts to fucking reload, so he doesn't have it. I got this, Peter. Oh, shit. Where the fuck am I pulled? (laughs) The fuck? (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Duck! And he gets fucking stabbed right in the chest. Stabbed right in the chest. Yeah. And Peter (laughs) puts it in the thing right at the last second. Like, literally the last the second. Titty. And saves the titty. For the blue beam. Actually, Gwen saves the titty. Because she made the formula. That's right. Which, that comes really quickly. Where he's like, do you know how to make all that? Uh, oh, dude, a do you know how to make a fucking cure for this thing? Antidote? That you... It's like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> sure. She's like, yeah, totally. Like, as if she knows. But, like, it's so convenient. Like, you didn't have to change anything. You didn't have to do any research. You nope. Like, She's like, yeah, I just know how to yeah, do Yeah, I can do that, Peter, real quick. Why? Just I'll do suck it. your dick afterwards. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, but yeah, she just does it. And I'm like, okay, cool. Gwen, you fucking genius. Are you smarter than Peter? Or like, are the screenwriters just dumb as rocks? All right, maybe. Who knows? But you probably both, honestly. All right, that, it, it's well, just, not that bad. But that's a really stupid thing. Yeah, whatever. I mean, to rush the end is like make an end. The, the dude, the movie's like two, two, almost two and a half hours. You is it? Yeah, it's like I know two, Spider-Man Two is two and twenty-one. The Amazing Spider-Man is two hours and sixteen minutes. No, it's two twenty-one. No, this first one. Oh, this first one. Yeah, not the that's second one. That's pretty long. Yeah, it's pretty dong. So you could have put that in there and somehow. Like, like, I don't know. I feel like it wasn't filled with lots of stuff that wasn't needed. Really, yeah. Like honestly, you could have done without a montage. No offense. A montage of what? Of just Spider-Man being Spider-Man. I feel like we know. No, you need Spider-Man being Spider-Man. What do you mean? I don't know. I feel like it could have been without it. Maybe you could have just trimmed stuff, and made it shorter. Maybe yeah. And then just made more sense in the script. We haven't even ending. talked about Flash. 
Um, like I was gonna. Oh talk yeah, oh about yeah, yeah. Flash. So he like, after he's humiliated by Peter Parker, and his uncle Ben dies, he he's actually sympathetic for him. Yeah, like, and then Peter fucking pins him against oh, the yeah. blockers, dude. It was weird but cool at the same time. He's like, dude, it's, I, I'm sorry. It's I get it. It's okay. He's more serious than that. He's like, your your uncle died. Yeah. I get it. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Like it was really well done. Yeah, really and, good. Like, the, the more I saw of this guy, the more I, I don't think you see him at all in two. But in this movie, I'm like, man, I wish they maybe would have done make make him a villain or something. Well, like he becomes Venom. Venom. I'm pretty sure. Like yeah, Age he, of Venom. Yeah. And like I kind of wish they would have done that. Maybe they were gonna. Maybe. But we'll talk about what this universe would have <laughs> came after two because. I'm kind of glad they stopped it, too. Oh, okay. Just in advance to say that. Oh, okay. Damn. Yeah. A little teaser for y'all to stick around. Oh. Final battle. Oh, when Gwen's dad dies, he's kind of right, but, like, I think he kind of did Peter dirty and, like, him saying, he oh, cucks don't, him. He's like, don't, don't <laughs> date my daughter, Peter, because, like, you're going to get her fucking killed. Which makes... Which, I mean, like, happens. He's, he's right. Yeah, it happens. It happens, but, like, just... <laughs> If you didn't know Gwen Stacy and it was just another girl, you'd be like, yeah, maybe you shouldn't. Because, like, right. yeah, that shit happens. Because every one of your villains literally finds out you're Peter Parker. So somehow. Like, like, literally any somehow. <laughs> like, somehow they're personally, they personally know Peter. Or, like, Peter just, like, just, I don't know. Yeah. Somehow, some way, he sounds, he's he's kind of stupid. If you really think about it. He always somehow finds his way just to get fucking, oh, yeah, I'm Spider-Man. He might as well just come out and say, Spider-Man right here. Right here, <laughs> like, that would be less dumb. I think. I don't think it's dumb. I think it's just a it's thing silly. that keeps going. It's silly at that point, though. Kind of a little motif, I guess. I guess whatever. it's a little silly because like he just get gets a camera, she literally says property. Oh of yeah, Peter that was dark. <laughs> that was really stupid. Like, dude, what? <laughs> like, like what Jesus. the fuck are you do? Like, why would you put that? You know it's your camera. Like, keep it around you. Usually, you do. Like, you don't have to put a sticker. <laughs> A fucking masking tape and says property of Peter Parker. I'm like, okay. Yeah. It's a little, little silly. A little fucking stupid. A little fucking silly. Anyway, yeah, his dad, her, his dad kind of cucks him, but it kind of, yeah, it, it kind of makes sense. It's just, it's hard for me to see Peter be like, oh man, you can't get that pussy boy. <laughs> yeah. But then he does anyway, so like, whatever. Yeah, cool. Good for um, I put any thoughts. I think this movie is an okay start to a Spider Man series. What the? Six out of ten. Six out of ten? Six out of ten. I give it a seven. Seven? Yeah, I give it a seven. I think it's just... It's fine. (laughs) It's okay. I think in aspects, it seems rushed. Um, It's... But I like the little things... The little things that they do that is different. I appreciate that they were trying to be a different alternative. Yeah, I appreciate that too, but I do wish they didn't lean into the... Like the Dark Knight was dark, so we got to do everything yeah, like, dark. Yeah, like Man dark. of Steel is dark, so we got to do that dark too. Yeah, it, yeah, the movie like, is a little dark. After isn't the it? Dark Knight, every superhero was brooding and dark. Yeah, and sad, and it's like Spider Man doesn't need to be that. Well, he isn't really sad. And they, in this and they kinda, oh, he is. And they fix that Uncle in two. Ben dies. Yeah, but they like do kinda. in this one. Eh. Yeah, actually, no, I'm gonna lower my rating five out of ten. Damn, really? It's not that bad. Well, it's because like I think I enjoyed two more. Really? Okay. But, like... That would have meant... Yeah. Well, okay. I give it a 7. 5 out of 7. 7. Give it a solid Nine. 7. Do you have more notes for the second one, I'm assuming, if you liked it more? Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. Probably about the same. Oh, okay. Well, Spider-Man 2, huh? How Spider-Man about it? Two. The amazing one. The, ama- um, the second amazing. Oh. In this movie and in the first one, I love how they animate Spider-Man. Oh he yeah, he is so fun swinging around. There's some. He really looks good cool. Just he does shots. like cool little flipsy dipsies. He just and poses shit. and yeah, stuff. Yeah, dude, he's and... a fucking cocky son of a bitch, but it looks cool. I think it was on the second one, but I think the supervisor, the VFX supervisor, was like, "We wanted you to be able to pause any frame on like Spider-Man swinging, and it make like it looks like a comic panel." Mm, okay. And I think that's a fun idea, and I think they executed it very well because there's so many times where like you could. Like, pause and be like, yeah, he's doing the little, like, leg thing. Yeah. Like, he's doing a little flip in midair. Yeah, at the end, he does that little pose, that little cool pose that's, like, a signature of Spider-Man. Yeah, like, 
at the end of the first. There's one, so course. many of those, and it's so fun because it's like, yes, it's Spider Man. He's <laughs> Spider Man. He's doing spider thing. Spider things. Um, oh my god. Yeah. Going from a really good thing to a really fucking bad thing. <laughs> those opening seven minutes, I counted it. Seven, I look at yeah. the timer. Seven <laughs> minutes of this movie, Spider Man Two. Yeah. The Amazing Spider Man Two. The ma- come on. <laughs> fucking unnecessary. <laughs> What is this bullshit with Peter Parker's parents? I don't know. They did that in the first one, too. Yeah, they slightly did in the first one, but they really put it in here. Oh, yeah, we didn't even It's like, talk what about... the fuck is, like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. You gotta give Peter depth, Nate. It doesn't... <laughs> it doesn't matter. I know. Because guess what? He finds out stuff. It doesn't fucking matter. And stuff that we already knew. So it's like, you're just wasting my time. And you could have just given me more Spider-Man. Yeah, true. And you gave me more fucking... Richard R- Peter. Richard Parker. Richard May- Parker, that's Is right. It May- no, it's not May. It's Megan, I don't know. You say Megan. I don't fucking know. It's, I don't remember because it's It stupid. is Richard. I know Richard because that's dick. <laughs> but then another great thing. <laughs> oh, boy. You're going you're gonna to notice this a lot. Yeah, yeah. There's really bad stuff. There's really good stuff. Give Spider-Man me. montage in the beginning. Of course. That's Dude, really fun. Any Spider-Man montage is good. I don't know what it is, but whenever Spider-Man is in the suit, but he's like wearing exterior like clothes or like a hat or something. It's fun. It's it looks fun. funny. It looks funny. Like when he's like, it is like <laughs> winter stuff, but he's wearing Spider-Man gear. I, yeah, it's cool. It's fun. It feels really comic booky. It's like, why are you doing that? It doesn't make any sense. Because like, why it's the fuck fun. not? Yeah, it's, why not? It's fun. Um... Electro. What do you think of Electro? He's a fucking crackhead. I kind of like him. I mean, I kind of like him too, but he's real fucking weird, isn't he? He's like the biggest fan of Spider Boy. He's, he's, he's like a fanboy, basically. He's like a fucking oh, stan. Yeah, he's, he's a stan. He's the original stan, dude. <laughs> the well, spider stan. <laughs> yeah, the spider stan. I wouldn't say the original stan. That's Eminem. But I'm saying a Spider Man stan, we got the first one right there. There you go. Jamie Foxx. Yeah. And he's then, the first spider I, stan. I. That's going to be controversial. Oh, shit. Because I think most people hate this. I like the dubstep. Oh, like yeah. Music oh, yeah. He listens to fucking dubstep like a fucking weirdo. Well, no, he doesn't listen to it, but it's like his theme. Oh, right. And, like, when you listen to this movie with headphones, like, you hear, like, the voices saying stuff. Like, they want to betray you. They want to kill you. Weird. They want to... Yeah, 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 they want to... Like, it's kind of cool. Like, it's, it's like voices in his head, and it gets more and they, more aggressive, um, like, as it goes on. It's really well done if you really listen to it, and it's it's Maybe. pretty good. Maybe. Do you think he has actually some underlying condition? Because he is a little fucking crazy oh, yeah. in this. Like a hundred. They definitely hint at it throughout the whole movie. Or whenever he's on the screen, really. Oh, another bad thing. Oh my god! It's like a mountain, fucking dude. Ant-Man it's like the stocks. Makes Peter a sandwich, and it's fucking bread and a piece of lettuce. What the fuck? No way. Yeah. I didn't notice you that. You can look that. She's like, eat your breakfast. And it's fucking two pieces of rye bread <laughs> and a slab of lettuce. For dude. breakfast? Yes. That'd be like a lunch thing. Exactly. And it's not even lunch. It's a fucking the most bland sandwich. It's like, it's fucking weird, man. That's funny. Oh, here's a, here's a bad thing. After <laughs> Dane Excuse DeHaan me. as Harry I was going to say. Oh. <laughs> Wow. What did they do to him? Wow. Like, how do you go from James Franco, who's a actual sexual assaulter, wow. to this fucking dude? <laughs> like, there's maybe <laughs> one good scene with him in here, but everything else is just bad. <laughs> he reminds me of, like, um, of a Jared Leto's Joker. Yeah, it's like... Like, the... exactly like him, honestly. Kinda, Almost. Like, he, like they're, it seems like they were trying to go for something different, but it's like, you didn't have to. <laughs> yeah, that's like, what they like, did with the Joker. That's what they did with the Joker. Like, and it didn't work. Although, to be fair, this came out before then, but still, I, this doesn't work. He's a little too... Yeah, it could have made him rich. Like, I think they were trying to go, like, maybe he's kind of... <clears throat> like, he's peacocking, but then he's squirrely, like, with everybody else. And, like, he's scared he wants to die. And you see hints of stuff like that, I feel... But like, his 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 delivery it is just he looks, a he looks he looks like a bitch. I, yeah, he does. Like, like I a, hate his face. He looks like a cocky. He looks like he's five foot two. He probably is. And like height doesn't matter usually, 
But if you're going to be a villain and try and be intimidating... You can't be a schmidget. You need to add Jay. something if you're not, like... He just... All around. I don't like him. And he overpowers two, like, big guards later on in the movie when he's breaking out of the show. And it's like, no fucking way. <laughs> you're Dane Nahan, buddy. You're not some fucking... You're not fucking Triple Jason, H you're wrestler, not Jason, dude. You're not what J- the fuck? You're not J- Jason Momoa. Like, you're, you're, you're no um, 2018 heartthrob Aquaman Jason Momoa <laughs> soaring alongside physical, emotional, and financial abuser. Yeah? I forgot. Damn it. Damn it, Nate. The no! joke! God the damn joke! it. Damn it. No! You fucking insulted I, this person. The only thing that came into my brain was her fucking character's name. Amber Heard. That's her name. <laughs> oh, my God. You you just said you were going to take care of the ah! notebook. You just said you were going to take care of the notebook before this podcast. You fucking punched it. <laughs> wait, wait. I can edit in. Um, Oh, my God. Amber Heard. <laughs> <laughs> That's not all right. Oh, Whatever. Fuck. You're Anyways, not gonna edit that. I don't remember where it was. Oh yeah, J- so, the sandwich. Yeah. So Dan oh yeah, had, D- no yeah bad, Mo. bad. Oh, Ryan the Temp is in this. In the office. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> and he's just a dick, and he plays Ryan, and that's it. That's all he was at and the then time, he, dude. And then he's in the movie for like two minutes. That's all. Well, at the time, this was the end of the office where he actually was a fucking dick and like oh. terrible character. So and he was actually he had to get more work because he worked on that show so he was making all work for himself. Yeah. Until they got canceled. So not canceled, but like it just kind of fizzled out because uh, like you know that fucking show's got to end sometime. It's got like nine seasons, yeah. dude. That's a long time. Electro. Electro. You wouldn't believe it. Does he electrocute? But when he turned into Electro, <laughs> those eels, they fixed the gap in his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Is that fuck? That's kind of fucked up. I don't get it. Why? There's no point. Like, I guess... Is the electricity, like, pulling them together? I, I don't, don't know. know. It just... It just happens. Oh, so he looks weird. He looks weird. Like... Electro looks weird. He's just blue. <laughs> like... I don't mind him. He looks like a Smurf. I wish he, he had a different design, but I don't mind what they did. I guess, but... I don't know, man. I think I'd rather perform the stupid fucking yellow <laughs> lightning yeah. bolt, dude. There's rumors that they might do that in the... And the new Spider-Man. Please, like, do something that's not a blue man <laughs> from the blue man crew, dude. <laughs> uh, um, Shout out to the blue man crew. I never remember this, but when Max... What's his name? Max Dillon, Electro. When he's first turned into Electro, after the accident, his body is just crusted and just gross and, like, dead and, like... I don't know. It looks gross. <laughs> and like crusted and I like that because it's cool I think it's I think it implies that the blue you're seeing it's not actually like skin and flesh and bone and all that yeah it's just what's it's his energy and all that crust was his real body and he like that just went away because it, it died yeah and I kind of like that going to Peter again so yeah cute Pretty cute. They've so always good always good. Hey, they were like what? They were girl. They were dating at the time, right? Yeah, I think so. So yeah, you would have good chemistry, yeah. I'd imagine, right? I would hope so. Like I don't. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like I don't know. What? <laughs> I was gonna make a joke about what your ex. Is. God damn it, you fucking asshole! I know exactly which one to <laughs> shout out to Big D. Big D. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, Times Square fight scene. That cool. Was, that was really cool. I thought it was cool. I like the progression of the scene because, like, at first, Electro, he's like, he doesn't know what's going on. He's like figuring out himself. Yeah, he's like, oh, and, <laughs> and Spider Man comes along and he's like, hey, just, like, that's just yeah, go calm. somewhere else. Yeah, let's not hurt anybody. Let's just go talk. But he's like, but then this fucking cop dude, he's like, <sighs> oh, he's making a move. <laughs> they did that in the fucking first one too. Remember, because like, the fucking. Gwen Stacy's dad was like, hold your fire, this one It's guy. probably the same goddamn cop. <laughs> yeah, you think? It's a trigger-happy cop. Oh, shit. Like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you doing? You want to die? And then, yeah. And he, <laughs> he does <laughs> die. He gets he fucked. Yeah, he get, well, yeah, you're a fucking electric man, boy. Electric man, boy. <laughs> <laughs> when you're electric Jamie Foxx, you're, yo, you're going to fucking kill someone. Yeah. <laughs> 
And yeah, he gets fucked finally. The greatest villain in Spider Man history, that yeah. cop. And also, <laughs> Electro, he sees himself on the big screens and he's like, Yeah, what people the? see me. And, and then, like, <sighs> once Spider Man kind of, like, he helps out somebody and then they put the screen on Spider Man and he's like, No! Spider Man is taking my, my spotlight and all that. And I'm like, and, Dude, like, it's like a, it can work for me. Because he's, okay. he's definitely got some kind of mental condition. I think you're right. I think he does. And I yeah. could, wish they could have maybe, I don't know, like, explored if they took that out, more. If they took out some stuff in this movie, they could have done that more. But, yeah, you mean, like, the first seven minutes, like oh you said? Oh, my fucking God. And then the last, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, anyways. We'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. So, but, yeah, the time, like, the time slowing, like, his, his um, Spidey sense... It was tingling. It was tingling. And, like, where he does the backflip and he's, like, you see the, the people on the steps that was, and it goes around. Yeah, it was cool. Super fucking cool. It was super cool. cool. I love stuff like that. And then the, the effects in this movie. They're so... Dude, the first the first movie had amazing effects, too. This one is crazy. Like, for the like, time, too. Like, that's nuts. Like, some big budget movies don't look like that nowadays. Like, like... This movie looks b- better than the, the... The opening scene with Spider-Man. Not the seven minutes. <laughs> but the actual <laughs> opening scene of the movie... Where he falls from somewhere and you just see the rippling in the suit and all that. 100% CGI. That's so 100%. cool. 100%. It looks great. And like like the ripple on the suit, I remember seeing a featurette for it. And it's fucking crazy. It's really good. Like, I can't believe The it. first one looked good, too. Like, we can't diss on the first one. Although, again, Lizard looked weird. Whatever. It still yeah. looked okay. It still was looked a, a really good looking movie. Every time, him swinging. They look amazing. Oh my god, he looks great. They're okay. some of the best web slinging mo- like scenes in the all yeah. of Spider Man. I'm not I even agree. kidding. Like honestly, like when he's swinging around, it looks as good as you remember the original Sam Raimi movies. It looks as good like as Spider Man. As dare I say, Spider Man on the PS4. Yeah. Honestly. Better. Yeah, a little better. Yeah. Because like that one is a video game, Obvious, so it's yeah. like a little weird. But this one, it's like. That's real. Dude, look, it's New York. That's... Hey, yo. Hey, yo, I'm walking in. <laughs> hey, yo, I'm swinging in. I'm swinging in. <laughs> he says that in the first movie. Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah, You're right. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, yeah, and then the electric, the electric effects, like, where there's, like, after kind of glow and, like, that's super cool throughout the entire movie. Yeah. Um. After the Times Square scene. <sighs> yeah? What the fuck? When did when did Peter become like this fucking mystery investigator conspiracy <laughs> fucking board maker fucking guy? It just comes out of nowhere. He starts listening to his fucking iPod, and he's like, "Oh, I better investigate my parents for you." <laughs> for you. Like I f- <laughs> love you long. Day long. All right, but like, okay, hear me out. He always was an investigator. Yeah, but where did this scene come from? It just happens. <laughs> I I try I, like I I remember this scene, and I'm like, oh, there's got to be some kind of like, oh, like to it, fu- and like him. You know what really p- makes the scene bad? It's just the music, really. Like honestly, it's too on the nose, bro. Oh yeah, the music's like, fucking bad. I like, hate that music. No, I love that song. That song's a, it's pretty good. But like, why would you put it over a I'm gonna look for you and I miss you, dude? Like scene when that's but like literally he's not the... looking for him because they're fucking dead. He, yeah, they are. He knows they're dead. Yeah, he in knows the first they're dead. One. So what is he? Why does he care? He's just investigating like, something about them. I don't know. He wants to learn more. I don't like, know. Ask Aunt May. I don't but like, why now? Why now? He just fucking fought this or, guy, or even nearly killed him in half the fucking New York in Times Square, or even like the, like the, like there's so much destruction in Times Square. Why isn't he focusing all his energy on this? But no, he's got to do Peter Parker shit. And we've got to <laughs> we've got to have fucking four subplots in a Spider-Man movie. Again. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Fuck me, dude. Well, you could have asked, Mr., you know, your uncle that knew of a ton of shit apparently. So yeah, um. See the fucking montage, dude. Like, why? <laughs> for you, for you. Stupid. Fucking pointless. Why would you? He put should that? be focusing all his energy on fighting Electro because that is the literally biggest threat he has right now. <sighs> no one else at the time yet. Yes. <laughs> it hurts my brain. Um, and then he and then he does start working on Electro stuff. And they tease you with some Kid Cudi. Love and then Kid they don't I, fucking play it! I love me some Kid Cudi. So that was a but really bad... But then they don't blue, play it! That was a really bad blue ball. 
I oh, love like Kid- I, I wrote this note Kid as Cut- it was starting. I'm like, yeah, Kid Cudi. I love okay. Kid Cudi. I love Kid okay. Cudi. Okay, and it, like, I love his it hums. Built, it builds up. It builds up to like uh, like a like a beat drop, mm. like as a, like a remix to the <gasps> song, and it doesn't do anything. God, I hate when that happens. And I'm like, I'm like, where the fuck is my hums? Where, where's where's <laughs> my pursuit of happiness? Yeah, dude. Where is it? Where's my pursuit? <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's all I got to say about that. And then. And then. He wakes up to a phone call. Oh my god. From Harry Osborne. Barry Osborne. Barry Osborne. Barry Osborne. <laughs> and they get talking. Oh, I don't know what happened to my. And. Fuck, I can't remember what it was called. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I, 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 I can't remember the specifics. I can't remember. He says... It might have been with Harry. It might have been with Gwen. I don't remember this movie a lot. I, yeah, I watched it last night. Can I be honest? Neither do I. I watched it two days ago. But he says to somebody, oh yeah, like something about the fight with Electro being last night. <laughs> Which makes no fucking God sense. <laughs> All right, so let me let me start with the timeline for you. Please. So in one singular night, mind you, the fight with Electro happened at night. Yeah. Okay. When, but it's a city that never sleeps, Nate. Fuck you. I'm gonna explain <laughs> this because this, this pissed me off because it's like, how can you miss this huge continuity error? So in, let's say on the, fuck, I don't even know it. it <laughs> night one. Night one. Peter. Fights Electro mm-hmm. in Times Square. Yep, cool. That same night, he comes home, and he's exhausted. Oh, you! And he's like, yeah, he does that. <laughs> and then that same night, you're telling me, after he builds this expansive wall with clues and just bullshit, in that same night... <sighs> he is the man that never sleeps. He watches fucking YouTube videos and tries <laughs> to experiment on his suit to beat Electro. And then the next that- morning... <laughs> He punched the wheel, boys. He punched the turning he, wheel. He gets a call from Harry to, like, talk to him or something. I don't fucking remember the scene. Because I think I was just so furious at the time of this yeah. timeline. That's a big no. I mean, it's a long no, really. Like, another, another long no here. And, like, I have a theory. Because that's a lot of shit to happen in one night. Very. I think... That for you montage for... Yeah. was in an afterthought. Probably. They probably just edited it in afterwards. And they just wanted to fit it in somewhere, and that's where it made... I hate to say it, but most sense. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're right. But it's like, why? Why? You could literally take out the entire parent subplot, and it would change <laughs> nothing. And maybe even... It, it... it would change literally nothing! <laughs> Because, okay, I'm going gonna, gonna to skip ahead. He is so mad, bro. This pisses me off more than MJ. <laughs> oh, my God. That's bold. All right, so the story of pe- Peter's parents. Peter Pecker, Parker, Pecker, Pe- Peter, Peter, pa- Pe- Peter, Pe- Peter, 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 Peter Parker's parents is that Peter Parker's dad, Ben Parker, Richard Parker, Dick Parker, whatever, <laughs> created the spiders. Yes, the spiders that bit him. Norman Osborn. But in the first movie, he created, like... A like um, uh, algorithm or makes, some kind of bullshit that, with Kurt Connor. Yeah, and with, it kind of conflicts with this stuff in this movie. But whatever. In this movie, we're led to believe that he created the spiders with Norman Osborn, and the spiders had his DNA in it, so that blah blah blah. The serum only worked for him, which doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> because why would you make it anyways if it only works on you and your family? I, no fucking sense, but whatever. Whatever, man. So then he gets killed because he refuses to give it to Norman Osborn, who's dying. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's been dying. And then jump ahead. He's been, di- he's been, he's been dying. He sends his research, or his, like, confession video to this underground subway, secret subway, that you can only access by some fucking gold doubloons <laughs> held in a graphing <laughs> T-34 calculator or some bullshit. <laughs> calculator. And it doesn't even open because in the first movie, we are shown that Peter is very, he's inquisitive. He can find like little secret things in his dad's Yeah, he's briefcase. a sneaky boy. So you would think a, that he's a, like... He's a smart guy that looks... Like so you would think that maybe he would open up the calculator or something, but he doesn't. <laughs> or like he doesn't find any secret like way to uh-huh. open it or something, yeah. whatever. And instead he just fucking finds it by throwing it out of the wall because he's pissed. Mm-hmm. 
Yikes. Where am I going with this? I don't know where you are going with this. You just Oh, pissed. no, I'm going why this is fucking pointless. Oh, okay. So then Peter finally finds out that his dad did the spider shit, and it only works on Peter, and it's like kind of uh, like fate that he's Spider-Man. Fuck bro, you. fate. <laughs> fucking hate that. And then, it's fate, like, bro. nothing changes. Because it, it, would, it would make sense if it made Peter think, okay... This is a bad idea to give my blood to Harry, who's asking for it. Because he's dying. Because Harry's he's dying. also dying. I think from the same thing that Norman had. Yes. Which, what do they have? I, did they ever explain it? was a fake it? movie disease. It oh, was, okay, just a disease, okay. Yeah, they, we'll say it's like the NSYNC. Yeah, sure. Well, they call it, they call it the Osborne curse, and they call it some other technical term. <laughs> the NSYNC <something>. curse. <laughs> yeah, the NSYNC curse. Yeah, they never the, really explained that. The Nine Inch Nails curse. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> You gotta do that one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. So, dude, don't don't. Harry's fucking, dying from the nine inch nails curse. Don't and, manifest the fact that the nine inch nails reunion tour is gonna happen. Is it? No, I'm just saying, oh. don't. Please don't have that be a thing. I hope not. Don't manifest that, bro. Don't pull I'm that out. Sick of reunions. Me too. Yeah, me so, too. Really. So, so anyway, so Harry wants Peter's blood or Spider Man's blood because mm-hmm. he doesn't know he's Peter yet. Peter. And Peter when he refuses doesn't know about this whole thing yeah and so it doesn't sway his opinion anyway no nope. to not give him the blood because it's based off his previous encounters with Kirk Connors in the last one where he's like yeah crossing this stuff with humans is bad and it could lead to bad things and I think that's understandable but also he's dying so just fucking give it to him he's gonna die yeah. anyways whatever maybe yeah so since that's not affecting his like opinion on that matter why do we need the scene after the fact to reassure him <laughs> and his suspicions with it being bad because then it doesn't affect anything after that <laughs> because we just need to fill time Nate but you don't this movie's long it is very long I I was like an hour in the movie yeah. and I thought it was in the third act yeah because I was literally halfway through the movie, and I'm like, oh, this movie's gone by pretty fast. Like, nope. You had an hour. Oh, you had more than an hour left, so. Oh, well, shit, dude. I, shit, got dog. A, I got a lot. Yeah, shit, dog. We got a lot. We got a lot more to go. I'm like, oh, my God. You're pulling. Dude, This is when you get to pulling your hair, you know it's bad. Like, they could have cut out an easy <laughs> half an hour from this movie. Honestly. Like, I could pick out the scenes. The seven minutes in the beginning. Before you montage, which probably, uh-huh. it's probably three to four minutes. Yep. The entire Peter, like, goes to the subway, investigates shit. Oh, yeah, sure. That's probably five to ten minutes. Yeah. Twenty minutes. Easy. Yeah. The movie could have been a breeze two hours. You could even take out Harry shit. Who fucking cares about Harry? Yeah. Make this thing... Who cares about Harry? Like... Flesh out Electro more. Maybe do Harry fucking different. <laughs> <laughs> By a lot. But, God damn it. You know, make him not Jared Leto. But yeah, the parent shit doesn't matter in the end. And that's mm-hmm. what, why it pisses me off. Yeah, because even no... if they were trying to do something, they still... They didn't do anything with it. Didn't do anything. They could have at least done some, literally anything, yeah. honestly. It's like if you're like, gonna, if at, you're gonna... I, I, I at least, I'm glad, we didn't really talk about it in the first one, but I'm at least glad that Kurt Connors and, you know, Dick, Dick, Dick Parker at least had like some connection they were all oh, their science buds you know their best buds yeah all that bullshit you know that's a that connects can you do something with maybe electro or some shit like i don't know or just do do anything person. do anything or maybe cut it out i don't know maybe maybe cut out the stuff that just doesn't fucking work in this movie and do something <laughs> different well hindsight's 2020 mate um Uh, fuck. I'm lost. You're right here, I think. Or right here? Or right uh, there? Right there. I think right there. Oh, uh, there's a yelling scene with Aunt May when she tells him about his dad. She's like, yeah, he was a Russian spy or something. I don't fucking know. What? The- <laughs> I don't like, remember that- what she exactly said, but she's like... Rush- yeah. But it said he was a bad guy, and she, like, she couldn't believe it either. And, like, how... I like how she's like, I raised you, and, like... It wasn't your father. It wasn't your mother. And, like... Yeah, kind of wasn't. Yeah, and it's like... She says, she's like... She's kind of she, right. She's like, you're my boy. Yeah. I'm like, you're right. Like... Because they boy. gave him away because of... The spiders got out? Well... 
he wouldn't give the serum to Norman. Yes, yeah, right, yeah. And so he's like, yeah, you gotta fucking yeah, die. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. And then he bad, bad mouthed his yep, name and, and yeah. shit. So he had to run. Yep, and and then they die. Yeah. <laughs> the plane crash. In that scene. Yep, and... You could also, you could literally just take out the scene and it <laughs> would shorten the entire movie. Like, that feels like... It seems like they're just adding, who, like, things to, like, make... Who watched that scene in the beginning of a Spider-Man movie and was like, yes, that. That is what Spider-Man is all about. That's what they were like. No one. It's like no one. No one asked. Like, it wouldn't change the plot at all because you already know that they died in a plane crash in the last one. Yeah, because, they're, you know, the news, when he's researching about Norman <sighs> this and... This movie's so fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> um, man, that made me kind of sad and, like... I liked it, where she was yelling at him. Amy is in this, she's hot, and she's also a very good actor, actress. Yeah, Sally feels pretty good. Yeah, she's also a dime. Yeah. She kind of. Um, he should have just gave Harry his blood. Truly, honestly. Like, he's like, dying you, anyways. Yeah, what do you got to lose at that point, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, he fucking dies, Okay. Or he dies. Yeah, he's dead, or... maybe or he lives. He's dead, or he's dead as fuck. I don't know which yeah. one is <laughs> Yeah, it? it's like, which, it's, none of them are worse. Yeah, just make him at least dead, not dead as fuck. And it's... It, it kind of weirded me out that, like, his father took years to develop that condition so bad that he died from it. And then Harry. But then Harry. How long he, has he had it for? Like, he's, like, 20 years old, and he's fucking dying already. Yeah, I think Norman, he got to be in his 50s or 60s, yeah, right? Yeah, I like, think. So, like. Unless Norman was just born with a disease, which I guess, but I don't know. Yeah, that was weird. I felt kind of sped up. Oh, well. This movie. Uh. This movie. I already talked about the stupid train. This movie's all about speeding up. Dane DeHaan, he he really tries, <laughs> but he's really fucking bad. <laughs> you think he's? You think it's like a victim of trying too much or doing too much? Well, I think he's just bad. You think he's just bad? He's I've never seen bad. him in anything else. Uh, me neither. So I mean, <laughs> actually, I think I might have seen him in something. I can't remember. I don't. What. I don't know. I don't know either way. He does, he's trying, but it's just, he kind of just reminds me of Jared Leto, and I really can't get that image out of my head. Yeah. Like, I, I can see that comparison. Yeah. Um, at the, when he takes the guy hostage. Oh my God, dude. He, took, <laughs> he took... takes the Johnson and Johnson <laughs> vaccine. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> InSync is back it's in action. leading all to this. Yeah. <laughs> dude, 2014 hit, smash hit, Spider-Man Johnson classic. and Johnson vaccine. <laughs> for the NSYNC reunion tour. Dude, those blood clots really get to you. Jesus Christ. It's like 3 in 27 million or something. That vaccine never made sense to me, right? Like what? one shot? I don't know if I would ever trust that in the first place. Oh, was it just one shot? It was a one it was the one it was just one shot. You didn't take a booster or like anything like uh, that. I mean, I don't know anything about anything, so <laughs> <laughs> anything well, anything could be anything, Nate. So. Anything could be any, anything because I don't know anything about anything, so <laughs> damn. <laughs> yeah, Johnson Johnson was like one shot. Oh. Which was sus to me, but whatever. Continue. Yeah. I wrote these before I looked up the actual cast, what he was called. Yeah. I called him Hobgoblin in my notes. Wasn't he just the Green Goblin, right? Yeah, he's called Green Goblin. Yeah. I, I think Hobgoblin. Hobgoblin. If he just named him Hob... If he, yeah, if he just named him Hobgoblin, why, what the fuck would be diff different? <laughs> no, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> he's not even Green Goblin, dude. No, he's not even... Yeah, like, I don't know. Whatever. He's Hobgoblin. so rushed. Yeah, very. So rushed. Very. They could have built him up the whole movie, but he really shows up and does shit, like, ha at the halfway point. Like, they could have built him up. And the whole movie. Like, to, like he, to the next movie or something. The next movie? What is that? There's no next movie, Oh, Whoa, I'll let you know in a minute. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Um, the Spider-Man versus Electro stuff is really cool. Oh, the whole... I love the dodging yeah. and the effects and the, the movements and the camera. Again, and the... Following Spider-Man and just everything... If you just watch this for the action alone... That's great. It's, that's, that'd be awesome. It's some of the best Spider-Man action, honestly. Honestly, true. If not the best. I agree. It's so creative in how he swings around and the camera movements and Electro's effects they are took really advantage fun. Of, they took advantage of the bigger they budget. They played It's a Bitsy Spider, <laughs> like Dubstep, it's... It's a Bitsy Plam Plam. And he's like, I hate this song. <laughs> But, like, see, like, and also, you could just tell they took advantage of the budget they were given. Because, like, you know, yeah. the older movies, they had a budget, but not as big as this one, obviously. And they took advantage of it, which is, yeah, what else are you going to fucking do? You're going to take advantage of that shit. Yeah. I would, at least. Um, I don't know who wouldn't. So, the movie's been leading on to this. 
Yikes. Gwen Stacy. Already, huh? Fucking eats it, dude. She eats dog already in the second one. I Yeah. If they were Oh my god. What do you think what do you think of it? G- give me your thoughts. I wish that it just it didn't happen. I just don't get it. Too rushed? I guess, yeah, because like it's a second movie. If you were they they planned on just making it a thing, right? You would think to maybe wait because like it's only the second movie she's in. And like her and Peter are like the best part about these movies yeah. a lot of the times. Like you just killing her in the comic book. You, I'll save you. Why didn't that happen in the first one, huh? When she fucking was thrown out the fucking school, webbed, bonk. Why did that happen? <laughs> that could have happened there. Why did it have to happen at this fucking thing? I, <laughs> I don't get it. It I, does come off a bit weird that like they do lots of comic booky things. They do, in and this it's movie. And, and like you said, the whole slide thing. It. And yeah, it's a it's iconic. You know, the fucking Gwen dying the exact same way, except she falls off a bridge in the yeah. comic, I think, or something. I don't know. It, it, and then Catcher, broken, broken, I don't know. I just... I think... Mm. I I saw a video that reviewed this movie, and he brings up a good point. He's He thinks that the, like, Gwen Stacy dying can't be done in movies. I don't, and here's why. Why? Because if you put Gwen Stacy in a Spider-Man movie or a new franchise or whatever, the end goal is always going to be the same. Everybody's always going to be expecting that someday that she will die. She's going to die. The same way because it's so iconic. Yeah. To, to, and so, it's like they only had this sequel just to end the whole thing but also they didn't yeah. and it doesn't make sense. But here... That, Here's here's where he also goes in. Like he he says that the original comic was like he says it's where comics grew up and like they were respected afterwards because you didn't kill the love interest, like you just didn't. Yeah. Because they always saved them. They're superheroes. They don't lose. Yeah. Which is it's in the comic. It's cool because he's trying to yeah. save her, but in the end, his web fucking gets in right in the middle of her and just <laughs> yeah, and like so I kind of agree with him that he. Because, yeah, it's it's expected, yeah. right? Like, yeah. it's so, like, like, if you did it with somebody else... Maybe, like, maybe somebody Mary Jane. Mary Jane, Liz... Dude, you would have loved that shit. <laughs> Betty. You would have loved... Betty, anybody else. Like... Jay if, Jonah, like, I don't you fucking know. It because, like, if you... Let's say you see saw MJ falling down the same way, you'd be like, oh, he's gonna catch her. She doesn't die. MJ doesn't die. No, if you did it with her, then, that'd be But like, then if she did, you're like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Like, you'd be, like, or so like, taken back. Or, like, and, even... You could have maybe... Who knows... Somehow you would have cured Electro's shit, and he's fallen. He could have saved him, but he died that way. Yeah. I don't know. And then he can go to Gwen being like, oh, shit, I'm so scared. Oh, it'll be okay. The next movie, you could kill her off then because you build it up. Or you kill her some other way. There's some other way that's not like the, you yeah. know. Which is, a guy, I, it's iconic. I get it. But you could have built up the fact that, oh, my God, go, she go, he goes to Gwen. I just killed this person, and I'm trying to save him. I'm like, it won't happen again. It happens to her. That would have been fucking way better than just doing it. Just yeah. like just doing it after an okay fight scene, like well, that's my big problem with it is that build the, it up the, better. The, the whole the whole movie you could build anything, ev- everything up better. Well, like the reason it happens is because of Green Goblin or whatever the fuck he is, and he, Gobby or whatever. I don't go- Doblin. Let's say Doblin. Doblin. Dumb Goblin. Yeah. I don't know. So, like, it only happens because of Doblin, who is rushed, and then it's really contrived, like, the whole thing, and it just... And then her as, dying... As a viewer, you just, like, it. you just, like, that's stupid. Like, this whole, like, I don't like this scenario because nothing feels earned here. And, like, it's just... It, it pisses me off. Yeah. Because I used to read the comics, and I liked the comics a lot. And, dude, I don't know. I think, honestly, I did, I just came up with that idea. The fact that you could try to save someone, but they die and then go to Gwen. That would be way better, I think. Like, dude, Gwen, what if this fucking happens again? Then you could do the whole, oh, my God, Spider-Man no more thing, maybe, if you wanted to bring that back for, like, a split second, even. And, like, maybe. bro, the guy's, the, he, the, you know, fucking the city needs you and some bullshit. Then Gwen gets taken. She could die somehow. And you could have done that, and it would have been a better payoff. Not yeah. a payoff, but you know what I mean. I think most scenarios would be better than what we had. <laughs> yeah. But in the end, I think the 
I think it was shot well. Oh, yeah, the whole... Yeah, of course. You're, like, the actual thing itself, it was yeah, shot the, well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and, the scene, yeah, I agree. But... Again, just everything just, around it just, it's just didn't bad. feel right, and it was yeah, it was bad. It so hopefully, if they try and do something like this again, they do it right. They won't. Yeah, they probably because they didn't. It didn't do good the first time. Because yeah. everyone was like, "That's fucking." We well, never know. You never know. I hope they do something. Gwen Stacy's great in this whole this like way better than MJ. Let's let's like let's stay that right now. Gwen Stacy, Emma Stone, they do great. Uh, she does great. She's way better than MJ. She's yeah. way love more like less toxic. Honestly, wait. Is she is she has an actual character. Yeah, she actually is a character. She has good like chemistry. Smart girl. She has going to Oxford. She, ha- and- she has good chemistry. No offense to Tobey Maguire and Kirsten Dunst. They had a low chemistry. Not as much as. Not at all. No, no, not really. Yeah, like not at all. These two, re- compared to like the original and this, Andrew and fucking Emma, they have such good chemistry. Yeah. And it's again the best part of the whole, like one of the best parts of the both these movies. And then you kill it. <laughs> Well, I think doing it in two is maybe the best way to do it. Because, like, if it's Why, a three... Why, dude? Like, if they were going to make a three, that would make more sense. Well, like, trilogies end things, and so if you did it on three, it'd be like, yeah, of course they did it on three. But if you do it on two, it's like a shocker. Like, this isn't the end. Yeah, like, but it didn't shock anyone. In fact, they made people make it... I hate it more. Because you could have... Yeah, you yeah. should have just ended it. You want to go dark and gritty like it was going for? Do that bullshit. End sad, dude. That would be fucking lit. Yeah. Like, no offense. But, like, dude, it'd be different. It'd make the superhero genre different because all them always end the same. The hero stands tall, all that bullshit. Some some movies, not all. Most of the superhero movies, though. You yeah. could have made it so much cooler if you died in a, in a third one to end it all. Maybe. I do like how they did, um... I don't know if it was intentional, but they did kind of a... Well, they did it in a lot lighter movie throughout the entire thing, but then they ended on a serious thing, and I think that's the I, abruptness of it. Yeah. Would have worked if it was built up better. Yes. Maybe, like, brighten the, the first movie. Yeah. Yeah, that... <laughs> could have built it up better. Oh, what's build up in this film? I think, I think we've talked on this enough. I think we, we could both... I'm mad, dude. Over I'm, dude, I've yeah. been mad. <laughs> but we won't have to watch this movie ever again. Thank God. I never planned to until this podcast, yeah, me honestly. Me, yeah, me neither. So... Don't worry. Um, God damn it. The Hall of Origin stories. <laughs> I hate this. This is my least favorite thing in movies. Is, like... You just do this one movie to set up a fucking seven Every, more. anything, yeah. That's like, what they did for the Mummy with Tom Cruise, yeah, right? And it, and it failed. And, and they did in this movie, and it failed. And it never did that dark, the dark, like what is it called? Dark, dark universe. Dark universe. Yeah. They never did that, which was a plan. Because they were gonna do all these, which just sounds cool, but like you could have done like just focused on this one movie. Yeah, it's like make good movies. You don't need to make a fucking universe. You need to make good movies to and build make up connected. to a universe. Yeah, to build up to a universe. And like. And make it cooler. But no, we're never going to get that. And it sucks because, like, the idea of a dark universe is kind of cool. Yeah. But that, that's neither here nor there. Yeah. We're, we're never going to watch that, right? Yeah, that... <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. Maybe not. Who knows? It never... Yeah. But the whole board of the story. So you got, like, Doc Ock, Vulture. <sighs> I think somebody said there was... I heard somebody say there was a Morbius mask or Maybe. something. Maybe. Morpheus? Morpheus? And the <laughs> guy in the hat, I guess, is linked to... Daredevil and something else or something. So like, could have been cool. Could have. Could have been cool. Could've. Sounds like it would have been really rushed and bad. Yeah, probably. Just like the, you know these two movies. Yeah. Um, more so the toward, second one. I'm towards sorry. Towards the end. Rhino. Oh my god. I mean, a rhino suit was yeah. in there too. Rhino is like terrorizing the city, and this fucking kid. <laughs> what was this? What's with this kid? Stands. He's like, I'm, I'm about to fuck you up, bro. Look at uh, these webs. Nothing. He is very dumb. Like, he wants to yeah. die. At that point. I mean, it's. it's I get it. He's an inspiration. Yeah, but like, but it's like you're standing up to a fucking. A big robotic rhino. Yeah, like. Like a. What are you doing, kid? <laughs> yeah. What are you fucking? What do you think you're doing? Uh, what do you think of the final shot there? It's good, but, like, it leads to nothing. So what the fuck's the point, you know? Yeah. I remember when this movie came out, people were furious because that shot, the final shot in this movie is in the trailer. Yep. <laughs> oh, Which, yeah, you're right. Oh, my God. Yeah, so they thought Rhino was going to be, like, one of the big villains. I get I get why they were mad because it's, like, the teaser is trailing. Oh, we're just going to fight the Rhino. Oh, okay. that's cool. And but the Rhino design it, was okay. I mean... It was 
It fine. was fine. I get it. It's the a, more I look at it, the less I like it because his his weird horn comes down. Well, like, but it's really detached from like his like neck area. Well, and so it kind it's kind yeah. of floppy. Okay, fair enough. I get it's it, not but like, that good. what you're not, but like, it would look silly as fuck to have just a guy in a big fucking stretch stretchy ass like rhino suit that would look a little silly Maybe. so I get it I liked what they did in the PS4 game oh yeah me too like that looks pretty good it does look really good but oh. so yeah he, he does that and then yeah that's a cool shot though it is a good shot but like cause again, he takes the, the manhole cover and he hits like three missiles away from I, him that's kind of yeah cool. I get it but like it leads to nothing yeah it leads to nothing so it le- yeah also why is he fighting wouldn't you think he'd be grieving about, you know, the death of your, like, girlfriend or, like, almost well, he girlfriend. Was. He was, but he... What? I don't know. He was inspired by Gwen Stacy's, like, graduation speech to, like, go back I to know, the I know, but, like, dude, I don't know. I feel like... But that speech felt like something, like, a screenwriter's thing, like, they knew she was gonna die, and so well, it's, like... Yeah. Like, wh- like, she, like, she chose words only people, if they knew they were gonna die in that in a movie, they would say, <laughs> yeah. like, kind of thing. Like, it felt really weird, unnatural, like, we... Like, she says in the beginning, like, oh, we always think we, we're immortal. And we're not. Is, and we're not. We're and not. It's like, shut the fuck up. Dude, do better <laughs> screenwriters. Jesus Christ. Speaking of which, three out of ten. Yeah. Um, what do you even put? My you put a thought. five? This hold is on, not compared. This on, is hold not. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Don't don't expose me. All right. Don't fine. Jesus. Me. I'm sorry. I'm mad. I know. I put, I think if they took out the parrot stuff, <laughs> recasted... Gobby, probably. Recasted Harry. Yeah, okay. And cleaned up the Hobgoblin stuff, then there could have been a solid Spider-Man movie. As it stands, <laughs> it's a bad Spider-Man film. It's the only bad Spider-Man film. It's bad. As of this, it's probably the only really bad Spider-Man film to me. And I put it as a five originally. Dude, there's no way. I put it as a five originally because half of it I like and half of it I don't like. I... Because f- half of it is really good Spider-Man swinging around, fighting Electro. Gwen Stacy and him jipping and jiving. Gwen Stacy jipping and jiving. But then the other half is Harry, parent shit, <laughs> stuff I don't care about. Gwen fucking dying like a... F- Universe setting up shit and... Gwen, I can't believe Gwen... Okay. It was a five. Dude, it can't. It's not the same. It's as, a four. It's not. Dude, come on. B. Come on. Three. It's a four. Three. For me, it's a three. It's a four. It, it's it's a three for me. I'm sticking to it. It's probably be, you know maybe it's because I read the comics and it made a lot more sense in the comics, and you didn't read the comics. And, I've read comics. Yeah, but like I mean the. Don't spy. fucking gatekeep me, buddy. I know, but like the fucking, like. I read a lot of them, like especially Spider sure. Man, and like it just it was so much it was built up so much better. They could have just done that, you know. Maybe, but you read I a lot. Think... You read a lot more comics now than me, of course. But yeah, I think it's a very good thing that they didn't continue this universe. Yeah. So what happened, man? What okay, were they gonna do? So... I forgot. I knew it was like a shit show, but I can't remember what. We know of three things that were gonna happen with this universe. Number one, that's gonna be Spider, the Amazing Spider-Man three. Okay, cool. And Thanks. Dennis Leary, uh, the guy who played Gwen Stacy's dad. Yeah. Who we didn't mention, he was also like Ghost Gwen Stacy and like Peter's traumatized mind of like, yeah. oh, don't date my daughter. He's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, I can't, I can't be myself. Ugh. That was a really bad scene. Yeah, it was a little weird. But then Dennis Leary in an interview for this movie. He's like, oh, yeah, there was talks of maybe, possibly, maybe, um, like, Peter could, like, bring back the people that he died, that died in the previous ones, and it was like, and, like, it kind of, I guess people broke it down, it sounded like the Clone Saga, which was a comic series I guess a lot of people hated. Ew. Yeah, yeah, and then, uh, Sinister Sticks was gonna be made. And be directed by Drew Goddard. Which it looks like it because Rhino was in it, yeah. Electro was in it. That's Correct. almost half of it, which I guess. And then, you know, Octopus was Octopus. Yeah, I'm just gonna call him Octopus. Yeah, I don't give guy. a shit. They were half of the half of the team was like, oh no, no, one four no. Four four six. Let's see. Uh Doc Ock. Doc Ock Harry. Harry. Almost yeah, five of them, Rhino, right? Aki. Vulture. And then Vulture, right? Vulture. And then you need like one more. Was it Shocker? 
Maybe. I think it was Shocker. Or Morbius. Who fucking knows? I don't fuck. It was Venom, maybe? I, Who knows? I don't think it was Venom. I think it might have been Shocker. But yeah, anyway. They, but anyway, so they were going to do a Sinister Six movie directed by Drew, Drew Goddard, who did Cabin in the Woods, which I really like that movie. I don't know if you've ever seen it. No, I haven't. I don't really... Well, I don't really... Um, I don't really watch a lot of horror, so... It's, it's like a horror comedy kind of like... Almost parody movie, kind of. Not really. Okay. It's really different. Okay. Fair enough. It's it's a really cool movie. Okay. If you if you like the horror genre, even like the tiniest bit, or you know a little bit about it. Okay. Yeah. So. But yeah, even then, I don't think I would have liked that because like it. Sounds like it probably would have been rushed. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like two. You're gonna introduce six villains in two hours. No, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, exactly. You couldn't do that. You would have to make two movies. Real, right? Like, maybe it would have been Craven, too. I think there might have been a. Craven? He was in the something. game. He was in the Amazing Spider Man 2. Same with Shocker. Oh, was he? Oh, I think I think the Amazing Spider Man game is canon. Is it really? I think. Well, because the first one's actually pretty okay, but the second one's kind of ass. Yeah, I heard it was like made in like six months or something. Oh, yeah, it definitely plays like it. The first one was actually pretty okay, except for the web, web swing. Yeah. The I only remember... thing that bothers me about it is you could just web swing in the sky. <laughs> it's just not. Yeah, not. that's weird. And that's the only thing that's really kind of in eh about it. It was pretty okay. But yeah, I don't know. And when... Do you remember the interview? The, the movie about... Um, Kim Jong Un is having some like kind of TMZ uh, interviewers come over, Seth Rogen and James Franco, and they're, they're like told by the CIA to kill Kim Jong Un. Yeah, yeah, the interview. And, like that in that entire. Do you remember the controversy around that? Where, yes. Where North Korean people hacked into Sony mm-hmm. and yeah. threatened for shootings and to release a bunch of files and stuff. Yeah, and that was like the whole Sony like they almost were went like they were dead for a while during that time I don't remember that they were oh, yeah I would say that but they were in a lot of deep shit around but, that time well yeah they were in a lot of shit I thought you were gonna say they were gonna like go bankrupt they weren't gonna go bankrupt they were in like a really bad financial period of their time to- of uh, the company though maybe but either way because of something that came because out of that of- happening of course yeah continue yeah, because of that happening they actually did release a bunch of stuff and emails and in an email there was discussions. I shit you not. This is not a meme. Don't meme me, bro. I'm not memeing you. There was going to be an Aunt May spy movie. Dude. Shut the fuck up. You're memeing me. I'm not memeing you. You're straight you. up You can memeing. look this up. You're straight up memeing me. You can, like you can read the email yourself. I'm not. It I, is out there. Maybe you're right. I don't know. Aunt May spy movie, bro. Yes. Dude, that's the stupidest shit I've ever heard in my I know. life. <laughs> I couldn't believe it myself, but there's so much that on it. That is such horseshit. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. It's. it's I'm glad. Has she it. ever been a spy in the comics? I'm trying no. to think. She's been a fucking old She's lady. She's an aunt. <laughs> and, like, almost gets married to Dr. Octopus in the comics. Oh, yeah, that's right. Almost, but they never fucking happen. Well, I think it... I don't know. It's been a minute, but... You know, if they were doing all this dumb shit, do you think they would have done the weird um, Green Goblin, like, pregnancy rape kind of thing that they did in One More Day or something? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Because if they were doing Clone Saga and all this dumb shit that they could have, They probably would have done it in, like, the third one. Where they say, oh, my God, oh, what? Oh, Gwen Stacy slept with Norman Osborn. Holy and, oh. shit, bro! <laughs> So stupid. So fucking stupid. If they did that, I would actually be pissed. Because, like, Gwen Stacy was, that was, was built up thinking to... thinking of, right? Am I thinking of the right thing? I think so, yeah. I think... I don't know. I think. I don't know. If that were to happen... some kind of storyline like that. I would, I would have to look it up, maybe. But... It was, like, a wreck kind of, like, a really old comic. But it was made in the 2000s. And it was okay. set in, like, the 60s or something. I think one of the originals. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, weird. But then it led to, like... I think her death... I don't know. I might be thinking of the wrong thing. You might thing. be memeing me. <laughs> I, I think know. I'm just wrong on yeah. some of it. I don't know. But regardless, I think that's the show. That is the show. That, that was the show. That was terrible. Uh, Th- that was honestly the worst time I've ever had. In- <laughs> <laughs> you know, like it was fun. Don't get me wrong, but like, dude, talking about that made me so mad. <laughs> it's good to get stuff like this out. You're right. You're absolutely right. We to get it off our chests. Therapeutic in a way. It is very therapeutic. 
Don't fuck so, up. Just don't fuck up Spider-Man. I feel like it's hard to, but they do it a lot. Yeah, they fucked him up a lot, even in the first one a little bit. Yeah. A little bit, but not a lot. Again, I appreciate the first one. I don't appreciate the like, second one at all. Like, I feel like to make a Spider-Man movie, you need, like, formula. I'm going to make right here. Pick a villain from the comics. Any villain. I don't fucking care who it is. Craven the Hunter. Anybody. Craven. Craven. There you go. He's the Craven. most basic fucking villain. A fucking hunter. Pick a comic story that they were in, but change it a little bit. Make it fresh. Yeah, but, make it but, a little but, different. But you, because, because like you don't want one to one. Yeah, of right? course. That's just that's kind of a ripoff. Well, like, what's the point? If you can read the comic, why do you need to? Yeah, watch the why movie? do you need to watch a full length movie? Yeah. You know. Like the other day, or no, this morning, I was reading that they were going to do a crow readaptation or whatever. Oh god, and really? The, yeah, and the director said he was going to do a page for page adaptation. And I'm like, why? Yeah, that's weird. You could just fucking just. Like, take the character, yeah. what makes the character, do a movie. Like, so, yeah, make sure Craven somehow, some fucking way, finds out that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Yeah, you gotta. You can, keep, you can keep that. You can keep, keep that. Keep that, that's fine. That's, just make it not dumb. Yeah. Like, like, like out in the first one. He's a hunter. He's a smart guy. He takes clues or something. I don't fucking know. So, yeah, he might find out Peter's, par- Peter's Parker. Peter's Parker. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, he's actually, do that. Um, add some jokes. He's okay, a funny guy. Make it funny. He's, he's a, a funny guy. He's the second one was really ser- like kind of serious, like which one? Amazing Spider-Man Two. Oh, it was way more serious than like any other Spider-Man film. I thought. I thought it was. I thought it was a lot more humorous. Really? Yeah. I didn't think so. Oh. If it was funny, well, I, it wasn't funny at all. If that was a cool case. suit. Yes, redesign the suit, but barely. Yeah, ma- do your own. Like it's like make when, it your own. It's like when a new illustrator gets on a on a. Like a new comic book artist gets Spider Man's. Like, do make your own style. Make it yours. But keep it Spider Man. And make it yours, but also keep it faithful. Yeah. Easy. But so easy. We should make him smart. He's a smart guy. He's He's like he's a fucking nerd. He's like top five smartest people in the Marvel comic universe. Yeah. He's got to be really smart. But he's poor, so he can't do much with it. (laughs) Yeah. That's another thing. He's poor. He is very poor. Play that into him, because being poor sucks. Um. You know. He, he's got a lot of shit going on, yeah. right? Like, so, like, play that up. See, or don't. Like, make, you know, give some tension between Gwen and Peter or Mary Jane and Peter or Betty and Peter. I don't know. Anyone, do, really. Do, do love interest that hasn't been done before. Betty. Boom. Betty. They've teased it, never did it. She's great. Yeah. I do it. Do Betty. Then maybe she could even lure him and, into doing, like, the daily, the fucking yeah. daily bugle. That what, would be good. What are we on, number 10 or something? I don't know. Number ten, absolute. Know. This is this might be the tenth, but this is number one. <laughs> J.K. Simmons is J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, why was it? Yeah, really. Where the fuck was he, man? He was nowhere. He wasn't anywhere. He was in a fucking email. Like what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys thought I wasn't gonna mention any of this. Mm, yeah, well, we didn't really until now. Yeah. I didn't think I was gonna mention <laughs> it, but then I remembered it, and I was like, "Yeah, he's not in this." They, he's... they, the bugle. It's like a. It's like a paper and then email. Did me there. saying Betty remind you about Jay Jonah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but so, that would be cool if he was, if, 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 even if you made a third one, introduce him to that. Betty, you know, get some, you need, build yeah. them up. They, they seem cute. I don't know. I think, I think his universe probably does like six of those. Maybe five. Yeah. I don't have to count. But, or maybe not. Who fucking cares? Because I already watched the movies. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I guess my final question on it. Final, are you yeah. are you excited to see him again in No Way Home? Yeah, he's basically like if you like, dude. At this point, he's basically confirmed, right? Yeah, like you can. He's been playing it off. Like ah oh, no, no no no. Okay, so in a he's definitely in it because in a Jimmy Fallon interview, recent, they're right? like like they talk about the video. It's a it recent like, recent one, right? Yeah, yeah, it's recent, and. He's like, oh, Andrew, have you have you seen this this picture going around of you on set of No Way Home and all this? And he's like, what picture? What are you talking about? <laughs> and then, like, he denies, like, even knowing about the picture. But then at the end, before Jimmy shows him the picture, he's like, oh, yeah, I've seen the picture. That's definitely not me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like, what? Andrew, so you see it and Andrew, I love you, man. But, like, just own up, man. 
Look, I am actually well, excited. He, he's, he's under contract, so he can't Yeah, say I know. Anything. Right, of course, because that's how Marvel works or some shit. Yeah, that's how so. a lot of places work, like Netflix, too. But anyway. Yeah, so. I, yeah, I'm excited, of course. I'm excited. I liked him. I liked him. He was fine. He was a good Peter Parker. Yeah. He was not the best. He's probably the worst one, but, like, there's three good Peter Parkers throughout this whole. Yeah, I feel like each. he was the worst, but he wasn't bad. No. I'm, no. He gets too much flack, I think. Actually, I don't. I don't know if he was the worst. He had the worst movies. Can I be honest? I think, I think, I think Toby was the worst. Yeah, Toby to me like Toby was one of the worst. I had, love him, dude. Toby he's has so, his moments and he's, he's classic, so iconic, dude. But... Spider Man Three, you fucking he fucking slays me, dude. He honestly kills me every time. But like, Tom Holland, he just gives him. I don't know. He gives. He actually looks like a kid. <laughs> like Tom Holland actually yeah. looks like a child, you know. And Toby was like thirty. I'm gonna late twenties. I'm. I might regret this after. But I think I'm, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna rank them. Dude, Tom you're gonna Holland. rank them. We're not even. Dude, you're you're being bold. All right, I'll save it. No, just do it. Fuck it. Right. right now, so we can compare. All right, right now, Tom Holland, Andrew Garfield, Tobey Maguire. I agree. Actually, I don't. I never watched Tom Holland, so I'm gonna put Andrew Garfield <laughs> at the top. And you know what? Based on that, Tom Holland's on the bottom. <laughs> but I'll take your word for it. You've really never seen Homecoming or Far From Home. I haven't seen it since it came out in theaters. It's been years. I don't know what the fuck it. I can't remember shit. Okay. So. Well, we'll watch them sometime. Soon, right? Soon. But not but next time, next right? Next time, we were we are going to be watching Dear Evan Hansen, directed by a guy. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's it. So. <laughs> yeah, you usually know the director. I know. Like. <laughs> Wait, we can hang on. We can make this. No, up. you can't look it up. That's okay, against the rules. Damn it! Fuck. All right. <laughs> so, um, thank you guys so much for watch or listening. Oh, I'm gonna be. Is there gonna be like a break since I'm gonna be? No, I think we'll be fine. Okay, I think cool. We can catch it. So, thank you guys for much for listening to the Gavin Eight Podcast. You can find us on Spotify, Stitcher, Pandora, mm-hmm. probably iTunes if Apple gets their shit together. <laughs> um. Check out the other 17 podcasts that we have on here. They're awesome. Or you can check out our YouTube channel where we have a lot of videos for you to check out mm-hmm. and laugh at. And at least 50. And vibe and, you know, just, just vibe. I think it's 43 or 44. Yeah, yeah sure. There you go. By the time it's and maybe, hey, follow us on TikTok. Yeah, we got a TikTok. We're we got TikTok now. There, just every now and again, just doing just shit. Memeing. I'm, I'm music reviews. Maybe coming up. Maybe probably. Maybe who knows? Let's see maybe how much Nate, ambition you have. Maybe for it. <laughs> maybe yeah. Maybe Nate does things. Who knows? Who knows? We'll see. Maybe we'll put that on the channel. We'll see what happens, man. Who knows? We're we're still figuring stuff out as we all are mm-hmm. because of the Backstreet Boys uh, variant. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you like that one? Yeah, I did, dude. <laughs> so, oh shit. <laughs> um, yeah, the Backstreet Boys variant. Not, pretty, not to make crazy. We, we always make light of that situation. It's, it's hey, a bad situation. Keep but clean. Yeah. Stay. Keep keep safe. Be safe. Be safe, everybody. <laughs> Please be safe. Do whatever makes you feel safe. You know, do everything safe. Yeah. Personally, get the vaccine. I don't know. Yeah, get the vaccine. Like honestly, I'll say like, that. Just honestly, it's you like know, the, Sometimes I feel like it's political to like. It's not say get the vaccine, it's but not. it shouldn't be. It's not. It just shouldn't be, right? It shouldn't be, but Absolutely. it feels like it. Because everyone makes it political. It's yeah. not. It's a fucking shot, dude. That's like me. That's like if like the flu vaccine was yeah. a shot. It was like political. It's not. It's not. It's like if you think you're, like, if you're susceptible to getting the flu, I'd get the flu shot. I'm not. Yeah, I'm, I, don't, I never got it. I've never gotten it. Um, you know, just and fucking. I, I mainly got this vaccine at the beginning because like. It was free. Yeah, that's and, amazing. Like, I was like, what okay, do you got to, sure. Yeah, what do you got to lose, man? Like, some people think it makes you, like, um, infertile. Oh, my God. No, it doesn't. Stuff. It doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, my mom thought that. And I told, I was like, Mom, are you stupid? <laughs> like, I'm like, dude, I I do a lot of research, man. I do a lot more research than people You're think. You're a smart guy. Smarter I'm smarter than Peter Parker. That's, <laughs> I'm smarter than Mary Jane. Thank you. Yeah, I can confidently say that. <laughs> I'm not smarter than Peter Parker. That's giving me too much credit. But yeah, dude, get vaccinated. Get vaccinated. Like it's like you want to get nor- you want to have normal life. Get your fucking shot. It's a fucking. It'll make your arm sore. You might you, get a little you tired. Five? What are you scared of a shot? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, you pussies. Get the shot. What are you five years old? Did you get vaccines well, when you were a child? When you were like just a child? Mommy's milk. What? Yeah. What the fuck? What are you so? Didn't you guys get shit in your britches? 
Didn't you guys get vaccines when you were literally children? Oh yeah, you did. Weren't you what forced the to fuck? get vaccines uh, uh, if you wanted to go to high school? Yes, you are still <laughs> to this day. What the fuck is different? Anyway, sorry. Nothing. Nothing is different. Just get the shot, man. Politics. Get, yeah, they make it political yeah. again. It, sh- it shouldn't, and it shouldn't be. You're right. This is a really good conversation to the end of this. Yeah. So yeah. stay safe, everybody. Get the vaccine. We'll talk to you guys later. Peace out, Girl Scouts. <laughs> don't know. It's it's kind of funny because last time you ended it with peace out, Boy Scouts. Did I really? Yeah, you did. <laughs>